What's up, what's up, what's up? Beat connect. How we doing? Welcome in. Let's see if I can get this microphone at an appropriate level. How we feeling, Bats? Congratulations on first. Chats in the clap for first. You'll love to see it. Welcome in, welcome in. I hear you on just not wanting to go into the office. It was a, it was a, it was a hard morning to wake up for some reason. I don't know why. I was also exhausted, so I'm right there with you. Um, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I just tossed and turned all night. That couldn't be it. Couldn't be it. Wouldn't even, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even suggest it. Wouldn't even suggest that to be the case. But we're glad you're here nonetheless, Bats. Glad you're hanging out with us. I wish my morning started right now. I wish, I wish sometimes that my beautiful, wonderful baby girls didn't wake me up at six o'clock in the morning. Never be that I was awake until three o'clock for no reason. Certainly not. How was Halo? How was Halo last night? I, I have, so I'm playing Yakuza right now on Game Pass. So it's on my phone. It's on the X Cloud or whatever. And I, I'm enjoying the experience of playing it on my phone because it's so easy. But on the other hand, what I don't enjoy about it is that it means that I can't check people's streams. There's no way. There's no way for me to be on people's streams at that time because it doesn't minimize the screen small enough. And the game is so loud. Which if you didn't know, Yakuza doesn't have volume accessibility settings. Which is crazy! So I can't even listen to my podcast either. So I'm just I'm just having to having to watch Yakuza and not be able to listen to 17 things at once. Ugh. Yeah, well this is Yakuza 0. So I mean I guess it's a PS2 game. It's an older game, but even still, I feel like I don't know. I feel like I can remember like way back games were allowing you to change it, but maybe PS2 era wasn't quite there. And you would at least think, I think Yakuza 0 was a re-release, right? I mean, obviously it's on Steam, so like, update your code. Throw in some accessibility settings. Can't be that hard. Can't be that hard, says the person who's never made a AAA title. Remaking the cake can't be that hard. Yeah, just put it back in the oven. It's easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Surely not a difficult thing. Bats, I think you'll enjoy my idea. So uh, I don't know if you've been here for whenever we've done our like sing the schedule thing, but I give chat GPT our um, schedule for the week and I have it write a song based off of a genre. But I, that wasn't really working for me. It wasn't, it wasn't like flowing. And I discovered that chat GPT just kept doing the say, yeah, you were here for reggae. So it kept doing the exact same thing. Um, it was purely the exact same like pentameter, if you will. And uh, it just wasn't working for me. So instead I was like, you know what? I am a guitarist. I could just play a song. I could just do a top 100 and have it write a parody for me. So that's what we're trying this morning. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play a song off the top 100. I can play pretty much anything off the top 100, um, as long as it's not something too uh, too pick oriented. Um, at the very least, I can just give it some chords, even if it doesn't belong there. So we're gonna try that at 10. We're gonna play we're gonna play some dredge. Hopefully, finish it in an hour, and then we will take a break. And then whenever I come back, we'll do our schedule. We'll play Chia until Wise and Dreamer is able to hop on, and then we'll do Twig, and see where that gets us. So it should be fun. Should be fun. But I've, I have played with it a little bit and discovered that what you have to do for ChatGPT is to I mean, tell it that. Like you have to, it, it's, just a, it's just a machine. So I like fed it the chords and the lyrics and was like, here you go, match this like syllabic structure. Like retain some of the integ integrity of this song and then I'll play along with it. So we'll see if it works. Hopefully it'll be more fun. What'll be really fun is if we get flagged for copyright. Because it's just parody songs. That's a fun idea. I think so. I think it'll be fun. I'm just trying to figure out a way to make our schedule a little bit more interesting so that people are like, parody is very fair use. I mean, I agree that it's uh, contestable, but 
It'll be very flattering. <laughs> It'll be very flattering if they think that I sound like the original. I'll take that. All right, it's nine o'clock. Let's do some Jeopardy. Three Jeopardy questions. For those of you that have never been here for Jeopardy, we do answer Jeopardy questions right at the top of stream. Uh, you get points based off of how many questions you get correct. You do not have to answer in the form of a question. You just have to answer. Um, I'll read off the prompt. You don't have to wait for me to finish answering if you want to try. Uh, but give it a shot. You always miss this. What's up, Harry? Not today. Not today. You didn't miss it today. Uh, and it's actually all double jeopardies. We got three double jeopardies in a row. So the first one's worth 800 points, and then the latter two are each worth the maximum amount of 2,000 points. That's pretty wild. Okay. So as I said, all you got to do is answer. You do not have to. You do not have to answer in uh, double jeopardies. You do not have to answer the form of question. You just have to answer the question itself. First answer, it gets the points. First point, or first question rather. First answer. <laughs> It's early. It's early. The first answer is in the category three B's of classical music. The category three B's of classical music for 800 points. The answer. This period of music that saw the first attempts at opera ended with the death of Johann Sebastian Bach. Man. Yes, it is Baroque. <laughs> Nailed it, dude. <laughs> So fast on the draw, maybe 30 bats. B sharp, what's up, Alice? How we doing, Alice in the Palace? Welcome in, glad you're here. B, B sharp, B flat, one of them. All of them, any of them. All right, next up, category remains the same. The three Bs of classical music for 2,000 points. Two oh wait, it's ads, hang on, we'll wait for ads to be over. We'll wait for ads to be over, of course, of course. We certainly can't have ads going. We can't have ads going. You would think I would learn my lesson because this happens literally every time. Yes, we'll wait. Trying to sub, but it won't let me use my prime. What? That's weird. This music does not match the flow of going into Dredge, but you know, we're here for it. We're here for it, we're here for it. That's weird that it won't let you prime sub. Twitch is so scuffed though, I can't say I'm too surprised. Twitch loves to cause problems, especially whenever they're drawing directly like from ads right now. So they're like, their machine is currently drawing from their ad source, wherever they pull that from. And so I'm sure it's like, we can't give more effort than it's due. Relinked my account, refreshed, and now the prime sub option has disappeared altogether. Oh my goodness. What's up, Classic Hill? How we doing, Brian? Thank you for subscribing with Prime. We appreciate it. It worked for, <laughs> worked for Classic Hill for whatever reason. Uh, let me know if you want to spin that sub wheel. We got a sub wheel right there to spin. Clockwise, counterclockwise, how hard do you want to spin it? All right, you're back. Double Jeopardy, the category, three Bs of classical entertainment for 2,000 points. The maximum amount of points we offer, 2,000 points. The answer, the word beautiful sometimes appears in the title of This Waltz, an unofficial anthem of Austria. For 2,000 points, the three Bs of classical music. The word beautiful sometimes appears in the title of this waltz, an unofficial anthem of Austria. Who knows their Austrian classic music? <laughs> Any Austrian composers in the chat? Um, Brian, this is, this is the sub wheel. It's got things in it. And, uh, Sneaky, <laughs> Sneaky, how did you know that? Sneaky knows the Austrian, the Austrian scene, dude. Sneaky Pigs, it is indeed, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The Blue Danube, Danube, don't know, but it's that. Um, and it is, it is uh, originally called the Beautiful Blue Dan Danube. The beautiful, the beautiful, <laughs> the beautiful, on the beautiful Blue Danube. 
on the beautiful blue Danube. I wouldn't have gotten that. You could have given me, you could have given me years, years, and I wouldn't have come up with that. All right. Um, so yes, that's how it works, Brian. You spin the sub wheel. You let me know clockwise, counterclockwise, and how hard you want me to spin it, and I will make it happen for you. And we'll find out what you get. It's anywhere from like our lowest tier, which is a, a, a free gotcha, free gotcha pawn spin right here, free gotcha pawn. Did I just show you guys the answer? <laughs> okay, well, hopefully none of you will quickly go back in time and screenshot that. Um, so that's that. And, or it could go as high up as a t-shirt. I think a t-shirt is our most expensive thing in there. So any of those things. Okay, the category remains the same. The three Bs of classical music for 2,000 points. Again, the maximum. Zando, you're here just in time for the final question. The final question of this stream. The category is three Bs of classical music for 2,000 points. The answer, Vivaldi wrote 230 violin concertos, his most for any instrument. Second are his 40 or so for this B woodwind. The answer, Vivaldi wrote 230 violin concertos, his most for any instrument. Second are his 40 or so for this B woodwind. Maybe 30 bats, it is the bassoon! And Dane the Pain coming in right behind. Welcome in, Dane, how you doing? That is 2,000 points to maybe 30. Congratulations, maybe 30 bringing it in today. Raking in those points. The saxophone. That was the next answer. That was his third most. That was his third most. Okay. Um, with that, let's read off the leaderboard. Um, in third place, in third place, we have Wizened Lemur with 9,000 points. In second place, we have Zando Calrissian with 15K, 400 points. And in first place, we have Sneaky Pigs with 27,400K. Chats in the clap for all our participants. Thank you for playing along. We're glad that you're here for Jeopardy. We're glad you're all here anyway. Welcome in, Dane. Chilling and procrastinating. I'm writing that Easter sermon. I feel that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Got to have ChatGBT Pro for this. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I mean, I exclusively ask ChatGPT Pro all of my Jeopardy questions. That's just what I do. Barely wrote yours yesterday. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. I feel like the Easter sermon in and of itself is one that is best written at like two o'clock in the morning. It's like you wake up in the middle of the night, like that's what I'm gonna do today, and then you and then you and then you just write it. I always find that um, sleep regression leads to the best Easter sermon. For whatever reason, because I stress so much about it all day that I don't write it and I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it. And then I'll like think of an idea. It'll like just come to me. Maybe it's like a, it's like a miracle. Maybe it's a miracle. Okay. So we are going to be, I write one during the week, then 3 a.m. on Easter comes the rewrite. Oh, yes. Hear that as well. We're going to be finishing the game Dredge today. So if you do not want the game Dredge spoiled for you, um, that is what is about to happen. Uh, we are we are going to finish the game. I have been playing it on my own time, and I've gotten to the end of the story as best as I can conceive it. If it opens up to a whole second part of the game, then uh, I guess we're just in for the fun. But um, as far as I know, um, this is not really spoiler heavy, this part at least, but as far as I know, I have collected the... Um, I've collected the four relics. I've found the fifth relic and I'm about to deliver it. I've done all the side quests. Um, I haven't done all the upgrades or all the research upgrades, but I have fully upgraded the, the, the ship itself. Dredge is awesome. You should totally do both endings. Would they fit during this hour? Could we do both of them during this hour? Um, Cause I totally will, but I'm going to at least do one. And uh, I think, honestly, I think I'm, I'm more curious about the one that is the bad ending. Um, I don't think I'm going to throw the book back. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna see the bad ending first. So time will tell. But that's our plan for today. That's what we're gonna go through. I understand. I understand if you've got a hop because of that. Um, totally makes sense. But um, 
if you are able to stick around and enjoy that with us, you will get a moment badge. So you'll get a little moment badge whenever we're uh, all said and done. And I'd love to give that to you as a part of watching this. Um, our schedule for today is we're going to go with this until 10 o'clock. We're going to take our three minute break as usual. We'll come back. We'll do our sing song schedule of the week. And then we'll play some Chia, assuming that we're done with Dredge. Um, and we'll go with that until like 11 ish. And if you want to watch Twig today, which is our The Weekend Geek News, which is an interactive news program that we put on every single week about nerdy news, that will be, excuse me, that will be at 11. Um, and Wise and Lemur, one of our level two members, will be joining us for that today. So that's the plan 11 o'clock, Twig. Um, 10 o'clock, probably Chia. And right now, we're about to start Dredge. And the song at 10 o'clock as well. You bunch of geeks, we are. We are a bunch of nerds, geeks, and gamers, in fact. And Brian, uh, Classic Hill, do let me know if you want to spin that sub wheel. Do let me know, because I would be happy to spin it. Just uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, and how hard. You got it, Perry. I'll pin it. I'll pin your mouth. Oh. Perry already pinned it! Oh my goodness. Perspectives, are you a professional mod? Spin that joker as hard as you can at the counter clock. You got it. What's it gonna be? Is orange. Oh, free IP. Classic Hill, you're gonna get a VIP status here on the Twitch. You just earned it for free. You don't even have to pay the 100K points. You get that VIP status. All right, let's see. I gotta, I gotta add you in there in that role. All right, I'm pretty sure it's you with a guitar. Is that your profile picture? Pretty sure that's you. All right, you should be a VIP now. Welcome in. Rock on. The picture was like, the picture was like this small. So I, all I saw was somebody holding a guitar and I was like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Welcome to the free IP. Welcome to the free IP. It's definitely not free IP as in, um, as in like uh, intellectual property, but as in a very important person. Okay, let's play this game. I am gonna have to switch over the uh, the feed because it's gonna be coming to this computer and I need to come to this computer. I guess it's not the end of the world. We can just have it in this computer. I'll just be looking a different direction than I usually am. That's not a big deal. Oh, we gotta say bye to Spoofy. Everybody say bye, Spoofy. Bye, Spoofy. What's up, Emo? How we doing? Welcome into the stream. Oh man, I lost the pen. I lost the pen because I refreshed for the free IP. That's a bummer. All right. I'm so excited. Oh wait, I am English. I am in fact English, sorry. Do let me know if the, if the sound is too quiet or too loud. Either one, let me know. Okay. So we are on day 131. This is the pocket watch that needs to be delivered. That is the final piece that needs to be sent. It's too sound? <laughs> As in too loud? Or are you memeing on me? If it's too loud, I will back out and, and do it again. Okay. We're going to deliver this. By the way, I have never... Seems okay here, but I'm on speaker, not headphones. I am going to turn it down on my end because it's too loud for me. That's normally how I know that it's too loud for y'all, but... You just got to let me know. Um, okay. Off we go. We're going to deliver the final, the final piece. It's fine. Good, good. All right. 
You climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Is this the save point? <laughs> is this the, I mean, it is called the, it is called the doggone threshold. So I'm going to say this is probably the save point. Boom. Deliver the relic. He approaches. Oh, he approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our position, only one thing remains. You, dead. <laughs> I suspect you know by now. Know what? It'll become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time I will be with you. I'm ready. Warning. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Okay. You're entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yeah. Warning. One more time. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Well, clearly I did not need to be concerned, Dane the Pain, because uh, it's very clear. Yes, I'm sure. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Waiting for the right time. Interesting thing happened a few hours ago. I bought Metro 2035 because I haven't read any books in like 10 years or so. My brother wanted to show me something and I wanted to press the book to stop it. I'm way too used to electronics. Oh, I feel that. Hydrate, I'm sure. Now. Our destination is the open expanse to the west of Great Tomorrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste! The collector is aboard your vessel. Okay, west of where now? The west of what? The west of who? Okay. Westward we go. I can't really see anything. Oh, I guess it's, is it that? No, that's not the red mark. Those are the stones. Don't hit any rocks. Don't hit any rocks. Don't hit any rocks. Don't hit any rocks. Make haste. Make haste! This is the place. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Emo. I hope you're doing great as well. I saw Mario movie last night with my daughter and it was the most fun I've ever had. I loved it. This is where she was taken from us. And where we can at last bring her back. Only here. And only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release the lost one frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Look, I'm sure it'll be fine, dude. Oh, oh, okay. It's her. I'm sure she'll be so happy to see us. I did this for you. Uh-oh. Oh. Now that, now that feels less than ideal. Now that, that feels like a problem. I mean, I'm glad to see her, but I feel like, okay. All right, so we got our girl back and we also uh, gave Cthulhu a, a Red Bull. Okay, the city burned. But did we survive, though?
Ooh, that's good music. The world is destroyed. Good job. I guess I did it. I guess I destroyed everything. Well, you gotta watch the credits. Um, I'll give you guys your moment now. Because we did certainly watch it together. Oh, wait, no, I won't because it'll cause my mouse to go off screen. I'll give you your moment after the credits. That was very quick. <laughs> I really thought there was going to be more to the ending. I thought maybe it would be more difficult to do. It wouldn't just be reading, but, you know. Maybe, maybe whenever I do the other ending, the good ending, maybe that's whenever I, um... Moments Hot Chocolate, yes. This is why you can't have Digital Church. He's literally raising dead Eldritch Horrors and destroying the world. Yeah, I can't wait to read the article from Firebrand Magazine. Not me calling him out. I didn't say that. That was another Nathan. That was just a weird sound you heard in the background. Okay, go into the other ending. It's way more interesting. Okay. Yeah, I definitely will do the other ending because that was that was pretty underwhelming. I mean, it was really cool to see the image of the of the Kraken monster. That was pretty cool. I definitely liked seeing the monster. I, like that, that was what made the ending worth it for me in this one. Someone came after you. I want to see this now. Oh, it was in our very first year, Dane. Um, yeah, it was in our very first year. I don't even remember who wrote it anymore. But it was on Firebrand. I guess if you went to firebrandmag.com or whatever and searched for Nathan Webb, you'd probably find it. That, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, I've been I've been pretty free of other hit pieces. We've been okay. If people are talking about me, they're just talking about me behind my back, which is fine, you know? That's to be expected. Man, those are a lot of credits. Good for the team, dude. I'm not gonna skip. Thought it was a new thing, no, no, no. No, I think, you know, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. We'll be back. See you soon, Alice. Thanks for the lurk. Lots of people to make a game, that's for sure. Now, as I, as I understand it, I think this is Black Salt's first game, but it's certainly not Team 17's first game. So I wonder, I wonder if Black Salt started the process and then got bought by Team 17, or if they went to Team 17 originally with this idea. Which one is the dev? Uh, Black Salt. Team 17, as far as I know, is the publisher. Which Team 17 does fantastic work. And I will say, this is different um, from most Team 17 games that I know of. And uh, I appreciate that. Because I feel like Team 17 was getting a bit samey. They were getting just a little bit samey. But this is not samey at all. This is very different. The music stopped? Did they just not expect people to make it this far in their credits? They were like, nobody's going to watch all these credits. Nobody's going to stick around to the end of the credits, the post credit scene. Perhaps there's more there's still sound design. There's definitely the sound design. Maybe the sound is, music is just real quiet. I played this hard when it came out and finished it fast. It's Moonglow Bay with Cthulhu. I finished it pretty fast as well. I would have finished it probably yesterday. No, the day before, two days ago. I think I would have finished it Tuesday, but um, didn't so that I could save the ending here for stream. Ding-a-ding, you marvel for making us expect post credit scenes. Yep, for real. And they do. And they do. I thought the lighthouse would, like, fall. Because they kept alluding the entire time to the lighthouse falling. And so I really thought that would be what would happen. How many minutes of credits has this been so far? <laughs> Not to be that guy! <laughs> I'm not going to skip. I'm not going to skip. 
Just saw the promo image for today's stream with Lonk as the Kraken. Yes. Gotta love it. I'm working hard on those on those promo images. We did a um I did something last week that I thought would be really smart. Sure. As soon as the credits end, you're gonna do me like that, Perry. As soon as the credits end. Okay, Google, set a five minute timer. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Um, so I posted on Tuesday to show like last Tuesday's um, stuff that happened and uh, the video of what happened from last Tuesday and it just did not get any attention for whatever reason. Just long showing up. Or would it be more appropriate with the yeah yeah? So how do I how do I how do I win? Oh, tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here. With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of the histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb. <laughs> Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead. Ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust, motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. Longs into it. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget? Begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer to the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. <gasps> what? That's such a good twist! That's such a good twist! Locke loves it! Locke is clapping! Oh! I didn't even realize it's a mirror the whole time! Oh my goodness, that's so, that's so like King-esque, dude. I'm here for it! You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this, plainly, before you sink us into despair. No. No, where'd it go? Where did it go? <laughs> it vanished! Ah, oh, it's back, okay. Uh, it didn't vanish for you guys. Um, I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic. We can undo everything. Undo what you did. Oh, Locke loved that, dude. Psycho horror plus one when the mirror breaks. Loved it. I love it! Oh, that's so good. Okay, so we gotta throw it into the deep. Um, but the question is where? Where is the deep? I would be able to look it up quickly, but no, I have a lonk on my hand. So where do I throw it? How do I throw it? Did I miss a scene? Oh, come on. You climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. You mentioned saving someone. Yes, she'll rise from the deep, but the book describes it. We almost have all the pieces, just one more. I don't understand, who are you? I am what was fractured from you on that day you dredged the depths. I am what could be. I am your breathless self. The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power. Oh, okay. No, I don't even know that. Okay, so I gotta figure out where to deliver this book. And how. Is it to the same spot that I that I summoned the Kraken? Or do I talk to Lighthouse Lady? Maybe if I talk to Lighthouse Lady, you think she'll have some advice for me? Maybe Lighthouse Lady. Locke, what do you think? You think Lighthouse Lady too? Okay. 
We'll try Light Hell's Light. We'll see what happens. I really just want more of the fishing mechanic in this game. I know I need to play Moon Glow Bay, Dane. I know I need to play. Can you just throw it off the boat? Is it really that easy? Let's talk to Lighthouse Keeper. What is it? I have the book. Yeah, I was right. Good job, Lonk. You knew. Bye, Lonk. See you soon, Lonk. You have had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you're ready, I'll point the way. Oh, I'm ready. Warning, you're in the final phase of the game. Yeah. One more time, yeah. We must wait until night is thickest, until the ocean is as it was all those years ago. Is it going to be another real short ending? Have we done the interesting part? Will we die? It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right. For her. Throw it back. Okay. That's the plan. Okay, yeah, it's totally the same direction. Don't hit any rocks. Don't hit any rocks. <laughs> Whatever, who cares at this point? Waiting to respond. <laughs> Hope it's a little longer. Oh no, your horoscope! I'm so sorry. Aw, oh, not ads! Well, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the ads, you guys. I can't. I can't, when, in good conscience, make you sit through the ads at this point in time. That's not fair. That's not fair to people that are, like, into this, that are, like, wanting the ending, that need the ending. I can't do that to you. I can't do that to you. I won't. I won't do it to you. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're waiting. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to our poor ad watchers. Since they cannot hear you. Yes, thank you, Perry. We really need a way, I mean I guess that it just has to be somebody in the chat. <laughs> I was gonna say we need a way to let people know quickly. But tis what it is. Do, do ads still like show up and take over your screen or do you like minimize to the side now? Because I know they've been experimenting with that. Is this that Wind Waker clone? No, that's Chia that you're thinking of. And uh, that we'll be playing that after um, it's pinned. We'll be playing that after our, our Sing the Schedule song thing. Minimize to the side. I figured, because I feel like they've been doing that more and more. I don't know. Uh, so it's been, it's been a couple months since I've updated our ads thing, and I wonder if it's helping. I really tried to make it so that ads didn't just show up out of nowhere, but instead that I knew when they showed up and that um, they would have that little timer that would let them know how much time they have left or whatever that would let us know so we could pause and wait. I don't know. I hope that people are, are, are fine with the ads. Okay. Back into it. Throw the book. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp. Its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back! You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. I did it! I did it! I'm a gonna win! Oh. Oh. Uh Okay. So I guess either it's it's a Bay or Bay situation. This is just life is strange. Either we die or everyone dies. But 
they survive. Congrats, the good ending. You kept your sanity and let the dead lie as it should be. World is saved, but you die and rejoin her. I guess it's not like Life is Strange in the sense that you're not controlling time and so you don't actually get to choose. It's really just do you kill everyone or do you let the, let the dead lie? Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, Dredge. I think I could, I think I could make a nerdy sermon happen out of that. Maybe. If anything, it would be like Dane said about, about, um, honestly, it'd be curious to really exegete the let the dead bury the dead passage. That would be kind of fun. Uh, but we'll see. We shall see. Time will tell. We've already watched these. We're not going to watch them again. But that has been Dredge! Woohoo! All right, now it's time for definitely your moment. You guys get your moment. You stuck around. You stuck around. Um, tons to talk about with grief. Agreed. You could really take it either direction. All right, let's make it a moment. There it is. Boink. Woo! -hoo! I love finishing a game, and I love finishing a game on stream. That's always fun. Uh, let's uh, let's let's rank it. Let's see where it lies. We got 25 out of 40 achievements. There's still a whole lot more we could do, but probably won't. Okay, so if you don't know what Backlog is, Backlog is a game logging website that I am obsessed with. And you can go friend me there, follow me there, find out what games I'm playing there and interact. 12.6 hours. Um, so let's pull it up real quick. Boink. 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 Nice. Um, we're going to rank this game. So, Dredge, we just finished. And we just finished it on Checkpoint Church's stream. So I'm going to add this to games beaten on Checkpoint Church's stream. And um, rolled credits in 2023, games played in 2023, add to list. I think, all things considered, this game really knew exactly what it wanted to be, did exactly what it wanted to do, did it well. I can't think of anything I would add to it. Uh really at all. And so I feel like it's 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 an easy four. The question is, is it a 4.5? Because I think I could be talked into a 4.5, but my gut is telling me a four. I, I think it's I think it was really good, and I think what it did was really good, and again I think that it knew what it needed to be and did it. The story was great, the characters were great, the art style was fantastic, the way it played was really fun. There were a couple moments that were irritating, um, but theme and story makes it a 4.5. I liked the theme and story. I could have used a, a less anticlimactic ending. I think both of the endings were a little anticlimactic for all the effort that you put in. I think a ending, an ending moment would have been really nice, like a big boss or something. Um, but maybe it didn't need that. Maybe it didn't need to be that, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe I, maybe I, maybe I just give it a 4.5. I could really go either way. The only, seriously, the only thing I can knock it for is the, um, oh Lord have mercy auto mine. Um, the only thing I could possibly knock it for would be that ending. I sort of find the anticlimax to be on point. I don't know. Um, the irony of it, I guess. Yeah, it definitely, the, the irony is there for me and I get what you're saying. Hmm. We're going to give it a 4.5. We'll give it a 4.5 because I really do think it was an excellent game. I really do think it was an excellent, excellent game. A clever ending, uh, but definitely deflated from the intensity of the rest of the story. Yeah. We're gonna give it a 4.5 and we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna compare it in our list because I always go and rank it in the lists. And once we rank it, we'll see how that goes. No, it's definitely not a five. It's definitely not a five. There's not enough to it. There's not quite enough to, to give it that ranking. Okay. So, uh, we actually have, ooh, ooh. Oh, we have a ton of games to rank. Holy moly, when was the last game we ranked? Okay, we, we haven't ordered we haven't organized this list. I'm not gonna do that. I haven't organized that list at all. It must have been this one. Yes. Okay, we found it. I do have lots of time. Maybe we'll go back and do that. Maybe we'll see. 
Um, okay, so Paranormal Sight and Dredge. I really enjoyed Paranormal Sight like a lot. I'm probably gonna put it. We'll put it below Detroit, but above Dragon Quest. Dredge. Did I like Paranormal Sight or Dredge better? I think I like Dredge better. We're gonna put Dredge right below Detroit. That's a good game. That's a good game. Nice. Okay. There was another list that I added it to. Games beaten on Checkpoint Church's stream. Let's see. Detroit was so much fun. I love Detroit becoming human. It's a great game. Um, where does Dredge fall in line here? Definitely wasn't better than Neon White. For me, at least. But was it better than Unpacking? Probably not. Better than Beacon Pines? I don't know, Beacon Pines had one twist after another. I'm gonna put it right below Beacon Pines. Right below Beacon Pines, but above off. That feels good. That feels like a good ranking for, for Dredge. So I wonder if that means that I should drop it down to a four because I couldn't put it above a lot of games here. Hmm. I don't know. Five would need some like base building and more than two endings, maybe a third secret ending with the punch we want. Yeah, I think it would need more like boss battles. I think it would need a little bit more, a little, little bit more oomph to it. And a little bit more reward. I felt like I was never really rewarded for the upgrades. Um, I didn't really like the layout of the ship in the end and I couldn't get all the things that I wanted. I would have loved for like the perfect build to have existed, but I don't think there was a perfect build. And that was a little frustrating. Okay, well, I guess let's rank games played in 2023. I've played a lot of games, but we do have, we do have uh, like 19 minutes, so let's go for it. Um, it's going to be really tough. I guess I know which ones are on the top and which ones are on the bottom. Um, so let's try and find the ones that are going to go on the bottom. The worst games I've played. Forspoken was definitely one of the worst. Detroit was one of the best. Hmm. Yeah, I think the only bad game I've played this re this year really was Forspoken. I didn't really super enjoy Season. Hmm. Okay. I know Pentiment's going to be up here. I know Violet Scarlet are going to be up here. I know Detroit will be up here. Uh, Vampire Survivors will be up here. Gold Knight will be up here. Fire Emblem. I find it amusing that you haven't mentioned Outer Worlds yet. Ha! <sighs> I just, I, I, I've got to beat it. I've got to beat it. And I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to do it or when I'll get the energy to. I've just, I've just got to beat it. Uh, because I can't keep hearing about how good it is. I can't. I simply cannot keep hearing how good it is. Um, it's really painful. It's painful. It hurts me. It hurts me to hear people praise it all the time and to know that I've not finished it. And so I've got to, I've got to finish it. I've got to finish it before I can give it even an adequate rating. It's just not even fair. Outer Wilds is one I've yet to tackle, need to jump on that train sometime. Or you could not, Dane, or you could not. Or you could not at all do that. You could not and say you did. Okay. No, I, the thing about Outer Wilds is that it's intentionally like uh, obtuse. And that's my problem with it. It's, it's on purpose. And apparently the ending is the greatest story ever told. So I've got to get to it. I've got to get to it. Okay. I'm starting to get distracted. This is really tough to rank all these. There's so many. Okay, we know that Undertale's like my favorite game of all time. Um, Pentiment was really, really good. Detroit was probably better than Scarlet and Violet. No, no. Uh, Gold Idol was definitely better than Survivors. Engage was better. Dredge was not better. Fusion was better than Dredge. Space of the Unbound was better than most of these. Yeah. Uh, Ace Attorney is definitely better than most of these. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, Undertale, Ace Attorney, Pentiment, Space the Unbound, Violet Scarlet, Detroit, Case the Golden Idol. Yeah. Ugh, no, I can't. Fire Lemon Gage, yeah. Vampire Survivors. Uh, Fusion's better than Survivors. Dragon Quest, probably. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh, Chia versus Dredge is an interesting one. They're kind of neck and neck for me. Potion Mermaid I really haven't played enough of to give it a more adequate reading. Um, Pokemon White I've really enjoyed, but I mean, it's a Pokemon game. It was fun. See, the issue with ranking these games is that I haven't finished them. So I feel like I'm barking up the wrong hill. I'm not going to do these because I haven't finished a lot of these games. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna rank them. That's too tricky. What we will do instead is we will we'll wrap up early, and um, we'll come back early. So we'll take a three minute break. We'll do our song, and then we'll just play Chia until Wise and Gleamer gets here. Cool. I feel like that makes more sense than playing like ten minutes of Chia. That just doesn't add up. Um, and I'm not quite ready for the song yet. I gotta get my guitar tuned and everything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quick three minute break. Um, for those of you that haven't been a part of us uh, since we've been doing this, um, we take a break because we wanna practice good, healthy streaming practices because streamers stream too long without taking breaks. Um, and that's bad for the streamer and it's bad for the chatter. So I'm gonna recommend, uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna recommend that you take some time to look away from your screen, uh, to grab a snack, to take a walk around if you're sitting down or if you're sitting down or if you're standing up, sit down for a couple minutes just to rest your legs, do whatever you gotta do, take a little break, uh, maybe get a snack, whatever, um, and I will catch you back here in three minutes, and we will uh, sing our song schedule, and then we will get right into Chia until Wise and Lemur gets here whenever we'll have Twig. So I'll catch y'all back here soon. All of you, all of you are here. All of you that are here right now in the chat, you're a part of this moment. You're gonna get a badge that says you were a part of this moment of Checkpoint Church history. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding. Do it, please. Make it happen, if you know how to do it. If not, I can look into how to do it. But we're, this is a moment. I'm calling Spectrum. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know what it, what the difference is going to be, but we're getting a, we're getting a new modem. At the very least, we're getting a new modem and a new router. And um, this is just absurd. My corner of the internet and you can't have it exterminates anyone looking in her direction. Absolutely, trombone. Only a Dalek could do that. Oh, this is an example of what not to do. Don't be a Dalek. Be a trombone Dalek in particular. Trombone dogs, as you know, are, are notoriously generous. You are allowed to lament. If you've never heard a pastor say that before, let me assure you, you are allowed to lament. You are allowed to doubt. You are allowed to be hurt. You're allowed to be angry. But at the end of the day, Whatever your prayer looks like, whether it's an angry prayer, a happy prayer, whatever it may be, I hope that it gets to the action of entering into a relationship with Jesus Christ and with the body of Christ that is the church. That's what we're about. Oh, I thought it was three. I thought it was three hits. I thought it was three hits and then he was done.
Ah, I thought it was three hits. I thought it was three. I thought it was three hits. <laughs> and that has been page fifty-four of the Mirror Mural presented for your listening pleasure without context. You finally got to see the mural. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. That sounds so awful. Did I sound this bad the entire time? You guys, you gotta let me know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've sounded terrible this entire stream. I've got to just start doing um, pre-listens myself. <laughs> oh man, that's really funny. Okay, well that sounds pretty good. Let's make sure that everything lines up as it ought. So uh, I did all the boring stuff. I did all the boring stuff while you guys were um, on break. So this is something new we're gonna try doing. We're putting our schedule for uh, the week to music. And what we had been doing was I was just having it write a song based on a certain genre. But then I remembered that I can play guitar. And so rather than worry about finding a backing track and worrying about um, matching lyrics and that kind of thing, I figured I would just try and do the top 100 songs off of um, uh, Ultimate Guitar. So it picked song number 88, which is Titanium by David Guetta. <laughs> the true classic era. And um, I have asked ChatGPT to rewrite the song Titanium, uh, maintaining syllabic structure, which we'll see how it does, uh, uh, to that song. It is currently number 88 on top 100. I can't believe it either. <laughs> so I've got to remember how it goes first off. And make sure that we sound okay. Shout it out, but I can't hurt. so low I guess it gets real high in the chorus bulletproof nothing to lose fire away fire away ricochet you take your aim fire away fire Okay, so it's just the verse that's really low. Cause she goes low, Sia goes low on the on the verses too. You shout it out, but I can't hear a word you say. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> It'll do. That'll do. All right. So uh, I've asked I've asked ChatGPT to rewrite the song. I've got it pulled up both the parody and the original, just to make sure that I can, uh, if I get lost, I'll know how it sounds. <laughs> so if we have to stop and start again, then we have to stop and start again. Um, at the very least, I have to stop and start again because I got to scroll. So uh, it's not going to be perfect, but we're not releasing this on Spoofy. So don't worry too much about that. I'm going to get a little closer. Okay, I already see an error. <laughs> Just know, here's the thing about ChatGPT, okay? It's amazing. But whenever you feed it a word like Pokemon, or a word like Chia, it doesn't understand the syllables of these made up terms. Sermons we hear all about the games we play. Nerdy church for geeks all day. 
Sunday starts. Here's the syllable. Chia's Grace. <laughs> Monday's Pokemon in its place. With Checkpoint Church, can't you see? Gamers, nerds, geeks are we? Riot Tuesday, take your aim. Community games to play. This week's plan won't make us fall. We are Checkpoint Church. This week's plan won't make us fall. We are Checkpoint Church. It feels like we're like superheroes saying our name. <laughs> I'll have to tell it. Maybe, maybe don't, maybe don't make us proclaim the name of our church. Wednesday comes, lunch on Discord is the call. Friends unite, having a ball. <laughs> like we do. Thursday stream, Nate will explore curious games we'll all adore with checkpoint church can't you see gamers nerds geeks are we variety tuesday take your aim there we go community games to play this week's plan won't make us fall. We are checkpoint church. This week's plan won't make us fall. We are checkpoint church. How does the bridge go? Next Sunday on our screens, Super Mario movie, the dream. Nerdy sermon once again. Checkpoint Church, where we begin. This week's plan won't make us fall. We are Checkpoint Church. This week's plan won't make us fall. We are Checkpoint Church. This week's plan. Us fall. We are checkpoint church. This week's plan will make us fall. We are checkpoint church. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it became a contemporary worship song at the end whenever I repeated the same line 17 times. So there we go. That's the schedule for next week. <laughs> Definitely, definitely a better way of doing it. Um, because even though it wasn't perfect, I was definitely able to like stop and start where I needed to and make it actually make some kind of sense. Okay, back to Spoofy. Spoofy! Ew. Thanks for your lurk, Perry. Uh, now we're gonna get into some Chia. Gotta hit that 7-Eleven. Are you getting some snacks? And thanks for the lurk, by the way, from McDoohoo as well. Thank you for your lurk. Appreciate you. Hope you're well. Uh, do you have McDoohoo? Do you have? Or if you're, I guess if you're, if you're lurking and can't respond, that's okay. But if you're lurking and can respond, are you going on Save Point today? I'd love to shout it out. Are you going to be on Save Point Ministry today? Seven words, eleven times. <laughs> I love it. That's great. I've never heard that, but that's going to go in the back pocket now for sure. Okay. Let's play some ch 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 chia. We will have to turn off Spoofy. Well, I think McDoohoo is going to be... If I if I saw McDoohoo's um, post on Facebook correctly, I'm pretty sure he's going to be on Save Point Ministries this afternoon. So, uh, give them a follow if you haven't already. Save Point. Very curious about the work they're doing um, connecting, 
connecting digital uh, communities and digital oriented people towards physical churches. Um, it's not exactly what we're doing at Checkpoint, but it's a good call nonetheless and a good mission nonetheless. And it's definitely something that we would love to work with uh, churches in our area for that kind of thing. So hopefully Save Point um, will help us determine what it looks like to do that in the future. Yeah, rock on. Okay, cha 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 cha. Noise. I did update my privacy policy, so surely they won't ask for it again. Oh, update. Which thankfully it wasn't something that messed up everything, but it was definitely scary. All right, bye, Spoofy. Everybody say bye, Spoofy. And hello, Chia. get right back into it. So for those of you that haven't been with us for any of the journey of Chia so far, this is an adventure where we are going to save our dad. And we're, we've just discovered that we are a magical twin and that our twin was fed to some kind of uh, beast in the darkness and the darkness consumed the, the, the twin and now the darkness has our powers to uh, do magical things. And they also eat babies. Which I would never do. And you can't find any clips anywhere of me saying otherwise. It's simply not true. Simply not true. I also love this game, but it has been a minute. So I'm gonna have to really remember how to play. Oh, okay, I remember what I was doing. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take pictures of the factories because the factories are how we're going to be able to take down um, the big bad. So I took two out of three photos of the slaughterhouse, but I started getting frustrated um, because I can't get all the pictures. And I don't know what they want me to get pictures of, and I think I have to... Like, they're wanting me to take the factories down. And so I didn't understand. I got very confused and frustrated and stopped playing the last time I was playing. So we shall see if it gets a little better this time. But honestly, I might go get this. Nah. Ooh, that's more songs. I'm going to do that first. We're going to get songs first. That is honestly the biggest issue with this game is that I'm so easily distracted by all the other things there are to do. Okay, bird. Let's get after it, homie. But yeah, I think I have to, um, I can't just, I can't figure out if I have to take down the baddies at the factories now, or if I'm just taking pictures, but I couldn't find a proper angle to take any of the pictures. So I don't know if it's my fault or if I'm just not, not going far enough and I need to take them down, but hopefully we'll learn. So I guess if anybody out there has beaten Shia already and would like to give me a piece of advice, that would be the advice I would like to have. To know if I'm doing something wrong? If I'm the dummy? Because if I'm just being a goofy goof, that's my bad.
first we gotta stack some rocks and get some more magical ukulele songs. Also, Stained, I saw you said you would steal the idea. Steal away. Steal away. Just be prepared for the abysmal uh, embarrassment, the secondhand embarrassment of playing a song live for people to listen to. You can't have much pride and be a digital pastor. That's my that's my firm belief. It'll it'll weed out the prideful. <laughs> if you're prideful, you can't do this because <laughs> it's way too embarrassing. Like show me show me uh you know any mega church pastor and I'll bet you they couldn't stack rocks on a stream or play uh play games like Cooking Companions or do a live improv version of uh, Titanium by David Guetta Nice all right, what songs are we gonna learn today? Explosive fruit? Oh, that's so nice. So that means I have explosives with me anytime I need it. Nice. Okay. Where to now? Looks like there's some stuff to get here. I guess while I'm here, I might as well get the stuff, yeah. Some new boat skin, some gloves, a jacket, a skirt. So I can go full magical girl on him. I don't have a totem. Where can I make a totem? Lurking and working. All good, Cam. Hope you're well. I saw you were streaming Chia this morning. I hope it was good. Hope you had fun. That's where I need to go. Did you enjoyed some Chia action? I would describe Cam as our as our local Chia expert. I think I think he's gonna platinum. But how's everybody else doing? How are your weeks coming along? It's Thursday, can you believe that? Tomorrow's Good Friday. Happy Monday Thursday, by the way, everybody. I hope that you're able to celebrate in some way, shape, or form that you find appropriate or acceptable for your faith tradition. Monday Thursday is one of my favorites. I also had a really soft spot in my heart for Seder meals, but then I learned they apparently are not cool. So, that's a bummer. I mean, I guess I could see how they're definitely like sort of a form of cultural appropriation, um, but it was a bummer because I had a lot of really important memories growing up of Seder meals. But I want to be culturally sensitive. So I'm certainly not going to be a jerk about it. Is there any food here? Any food here? Can't you see I'm busy? In fact, I cannot. I'm going to take this stuff, thank you. He said sort of? Oh, what? That it's sort of cultural appropriation? Yeah, it's very much cultural appropriation. Sort of in the sense that I guess it's not always in ill will. <laughs> it is appropriation that hopefully has some, like, good examples that we should stop doing, but nonetheless, at least it wasn't, like, always done in, uh, 
spite or always done in a, a, a space of wickedness, you know? But that's very new to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how people like learned that, but it was definitely something that's very, very new to my, uh, my experience. I don't know if people just knew and didn't tell me, <laughs> which is uh, my like waking nightmare as an introvert. True, the one I went to was co-led by a priest and a rabbi, so it felt okay. So as I understand it, that's kind of the way you make it kosher. Not, that was an unintentional, that was an unintentional bit of appropriation there, like I said. Um, but the way that you make it okay is that um, it needs to be hosted appropriately by someone of the faith tradition. And I think they even went further of like, it needs to be hosted in an appropriate environment. So you need to go to like a tabernacle to experience Seder meal. You don't need to bring the Seder meal to your uh, <laughs> church warehouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, you're, you, you gotta, gotta be appropriate in that way. But again, I'm learning, I'm learning still, and we can all learn. And I don't feel guilty about the fact that I'm learning. Oh, you're in a synagogue. Very good. Okay. No eyes. No eyes. And no only the, only the bottom whiskers. We're going to remember no eyes, only bottom whiskers. That's it. Wasn't paying attention. Well, we absolutely uh, did it growing up and uh, did it in our church point warehouse. So that's why I'm calling that out because that's something that we definitely did. I'm legitimately considering upgrading my PlayStation Plus account just to play this game. Honestly, do it for a month. Do it for a month. This game is definitely worth the price or just buy the game. But it's definitely worth it. Is it still available? Now you gotta check because PlayStation Plus may have already lapsed over into next month. It always seemed weird to me that Christians wanted to play at the Jewish ritual. Granted, I didn't grow up in church. I go to lots uh, with Jewish friends and such, but larger population around Baltimore than, than south where I grew up. Gotcha. Yeah, it was, it was very much a thing for a while there. Very much a thing. But I also, uh, I will say, um, and maybe I'm running my mouth more about it than I need to. Uh, I will say, I mean, I never, I genuinely didn't think anything negative about it until it was highlighted. Like, there are some, some forms of cultural appropriation that you're like, oh yeah, like, this is bad and it feels bad too. This was not one of them. But that doesn't mean nobody didn't feel weird about it. It just means I didn't lived experience and all that. Now I've got titanium stuck in my head. I haven't listened to that song in probably 10 years and now I'm gonna go listen to it on Spoofy after stream. It really is a peaceful game, it's a peaceful experience. Is it on this island? Let's see, cause that ain't gonna do. It's behind the island. I see it. It's this lily baby island back here. What's up, Wizen? How we doing? Appreciate you waking up early for us here. So that's what I mean. Do you see how it's like burn all the sentinels, do all the stuff? Do I do that now? Do I do that now or do I do that after the factory pictures? Because I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Not 
that one. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. My God. The shrine. Into the shrine. Well, I'm looking forward to Twig here in just a little bit, Wise and Lemur. Should be a lot of fun. Appreciate you being our special guest of the day. I did have to add one thing to the layout, just so you know. It's at the very end of the uh, beginning section. What's that? What's this now? Three greens is good. Three X's is bad. It's tic-tac-toe. I'm playing tic-tac-toe. I'm playing tic-tac-toe right now. Boink. How do you play? Ah. Oh, he's so good. Okay. Somebody's got to remind me how to win at tic-tac-toe on first try. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go to center first this time. Um, always start with a corner? Okay, well, what if he goes in center then? I'll try that next time. Because you're probably right. Oh, I win. I win! Woo! I'm gonna win! GG's. GG's giant monster head. Maybe next time, mysterious ominous monster. AI can't hack it. I'm too smart. I'm too smart for AI, you guys. I'm too smart. Brain too big. Five head. Five head genius. Later, y'all. <laughs> Are you leaving because I'm a genius? Or do you actually have to leave? See you stained. Yeah, I does not apply. Yeah, they said it to easy for me. They were like, nobody's ever lost the first match before. That was the first person we've ever had that lost the first match, so we just decided we'd take it easy on him. Actually heading out. See you, Zane. Have a great rest of your day. We've got to figure out a time to catch up soon so we can talk through all the stuff, but uh, any questions that you might have about Discord and all that good sort of thing. We'll make it happen. It's been a busy week. And I know it's a busy week for, like, everybody. Especially all the clergy peeps. Need to ascertain all of the points of interest so that I can get all the upgrades. Quit your job and get a new one after Easter. You know, you can't deny the logic. The logic's there. Definitely see some good stuff out there. Definitely gonna get the uh, the orbs of power. Those are gonna be first. I also have some pictures to take here. Gotta 
get the orbs of power first and foremost. So I'm not going to talk about Mario movie because I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say, if you have children's, you should definitely go see the Mario movie with them. Because it was such a delightful movie to see with kids. Nora was positively engrossed the entirety of the film. Now, I think if you just like Mario, you should also go see it. If you have what? Children? Kiddos? Sherlins? I used to call, um, <laughs> I used to call my toys growing up my Sherlins because I couldn't pronounce children. Why would I get one of those? Gross. I mean, understandable. They are pretty disgusting. They are pretty, pretty nasty. I'm not going to disagree with you there. I think children are wonderful, but they aren't for everybody. I will throw no stones at people that say they never, they never plan on having kids. That's just fine. Perfectly reasonable and acceptable. Wink. Got that coconut. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's get better. Oh, it's uh, four, three, two, one. Now. Wait. No. Wait. I'm like a man in a learn how to fly and do everything to light touch the sky. Make a wish, make a make a chance, and fade away. <laughs> no! Too far. I thought I could grab it while I had the glider out, but I cannot. Glider is a no go. We've done the things, we've done the things. I guess we need to take a picture. I guess we'll take a picture. Let's see if this is a good angle. That's what I mean. They're too far away. How am I supposed to take pictures of those things? I feel like I have to get in the base, and if I take if I go in the base, then I have to take down the baddies. I'm so confused. Do I take down the baddies? Is that what I have to do? Is there a way? Can I like fly up onto that crane? Can I take a picture as a bird? Obstacle. Always an obstacle. Where's the other one? There was another picture. No, why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? Where was the other one? There was one more. Was it, it was like right beneath me probably. I must be like right over it. Nope, there it is. Oh, nice. 
See, now that one it let me do. Mm -hmm. You're, they're destroying the soil to extract some oxygen. Just so you know, it's a highly unstable material, so be careful. You should try disabling the drills with an explosion. So that's that's what I do. Okay, so that's totally what they want me to do. So I gotta take down all those sentinels. But it's so me. Hello, how fun is the game? Welcome in, Morty. We're glad that you're here. Welcome to your first time chatting here. Uh, the game is great. I've really enjoyed this game. Um, we just finished up Dredge, and I can't decide which one I like more, but I really, really like Dredge. And I'm really, really enjoying this one so far. It's hard to say. Have you played it at all, or are you trying to decide whether or not to get it? Considering that it's like free with PS Plus, if it still is, I would say definitely get it if you got PS Plus. It's a it's a must install for me. I haven't, but I have it on PS uh, for free. Well, it's a, it is a, it is an absolute must play for me. I think it's an absolute blast. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's a great collectathon. If you like collecting games, it does it really well. If you're not such a fan of collecting games, then maybe not. But it's a good story at the very least. It's fun to fun to experience the story. Definitely darker of a story than I would have expected. That's not necessarily bad. But... That didn't do it. Wow. I really expected that to do it. Maybe do I just place the explosive there? Let's try and summon some of that explosive uh, beef. Place the beef here. Booyah! Two more like that, and the rest is history. Okay, so yeah, that's what I had to do. All right. I'll do. I'm here now. How are you doing? Welcome in, Cam. I'm doing well. Can I? Do those explode? No, these don't explode. These just roll. I had high hopes that these might explode, but they do not. Lame. Alright, let's summon some beef. I finished all of the collectibles. And on one of the islands this morning, getting close to the platinum. Rock on. Yeah, I was thinking you're you're like our... Uh, did I just sit on fire? Was that just happening? You're like our uh, Chia professional here. You're going for that plat. You're our resident Chia expert. So any questions that I have, I'm going to ask you. I'm definitely, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. These sneaky times of the game, the like sneaking elements, really make me want a new like Sly Cooper. Does this explode? Does all of this explode? Feels like a bad, a bad thing to have. You know? Oh. Okay. 
Oh, are those baddies? Summon some beef. Good job. Ba boom! All right, how often can we summon beef? Can I summon more? Oh, it's not very often. Okay, so we gotta be distracted for a little bit. What game is next on your list, Cam? Undertale? Why is it locked? Oh, is it because I'm crouching? Beef! Boom, it works. A couple more explosions like this should do the trick. What do them walking do? Don't they throw something? Not really sure what is next. I need to find something until Jedi Survivor comes out, though I may not stream that since Deanna wants to. Got you. <laughs> okay. F A C. Ah, come on! F A C. I'm trying to remember what them walking do. You know they throw something, but I don't know if it's like explosive. It is. Okay. I'm walking her dope. I am walking, hear me roar! Yes! Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn, oh! Space face. Yep. Standard tuning treble that would take up all of the open spaces. Burn, baby, burn. Dude, Mwakin is OP, dude. Mwakin is OP. Walk and climb, though? I, I, I doubt it. Oof. Come on, get up here! Get up here! Stop! 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 Stop with the glitching! Stop with the glitches! Enough with the glitches! That's enough glitches! Ay, ay, ay. I just wanted to climb on top of the roof! It won't let me jump on top of the roof! I gotta say, the the roof is real broken in this game. If you try to jump on the roof, it does not work. It does not like it. It will not allow it. Okay. I wonder if Mwakin... Can Mwakin reach them? Oh, I got 13 more seconds. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Walken can reach them. <laughs> yes. Yes, Walken. Where else? Who else dashed to fight Walken? Ah. That far of a jump. Gotta find the other drill.
Who saw me? Sniping him, dude. What? It said destroy the drills, and it says zero out of three. What do you, what do you mean? Hang on just a second. Did I not do it? Did I not do it? Did I have to do it more? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. You don't need to, you do not need to make the drill hit multiple times. That is very silly. That was a very, very silly thing. Why? Why do the drills need to be hit multiple times? That's extremely silly. One time is plenty. I Okay, I was in that that time. Still not gone? Mm. I'm marking this as a as a as a negative. This is a negative for this game. Oh, I know I can do it. I just wish it had told me that I needed to do it. Okay, one down. Now we gotta go back to the very beginning of this thing that I thought was done this entire time. In all fairness, I probably would have noticed if chat wasn't there. How did you do it? Now I'm very curious. Did you stealth it? Or did you do it much faster than me? Took out all the enemies and then did the quest, got you. Yeah, I don't know if I'll take out all the enemies or not. I'm not going for platinum. So honestly, I could care, could care less if the enemies are not. Time for beef. Beef. Spot. Spot. Bye. Okay, back to the first one now. Honestly, I might become a Milwaukee. F A C E. Walking time. I'm John Mawicken. accomplished. Now that I know, know that Mwakan are so OP, I'm probably just going to do Mwakan from this point on. Alright. One factory down. Power supply depleted. Great job, Chia. Took those out of service for a while. No more drilling means no more power, and no power means you'll have access to gym number one. You just have to clog it. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice. That's how power works, by the way. Whenever things stop receiving power, they just open. It's true. Okay, one down. Who's next? You decide. Nope. I had a new uh, restaurant yesterday called Shake Shack. I mean, that's ever had Shake Shack before. I had never had it. And uh, real good burger, a little overpriced. A little bit overpriced. Although I'm, I'm beginning to feel like just uh, everywhere is overpriced. Kinda. Kinda just beginning to feel like it's all. All overpriced. I can't get, I cannot get lunch anymore for less than fifteen dollars. Shouldn't walk and go in here. Shake Shack is solid. It was the first time I've ever experienced it. I've had steak and shake. Very different experience. I'm gonna walk in these guys. 
Now that I know that Milwaukee is an option, we're taking down. We're taking down the best of them. Oh, I got tall Milwaukee. You want to take on the tall boy? I don't think so. Point. Hearing some boomer vibes there. I know for real. I really do feel like old man yells at sky, but it is it is wild. Look, I'm just I'm I'm a hop, skip, and a jump away from the boomer here. I did get called old on TikTok the other day. Did I tell y'all about that? <laughs> I was on I was on TikTok and um, making a big deal about CG5 and how there's this sound on TikTok that's like, everybody told me that it sound like CG5. Probably because I am CG5. And it's it or originates from this um, original guy who uh, supposedly sounds like CG5. And uh, I was, and then and it's become this meme because then the real CG5 reacted to it and was like, I am CG5 and this is funny because it's a meme and I'm hopping into the meme, but it's actually me. And I responded and I said, who is CG5? Who is CG5? And who is this everyone that seems to think that this one creator sounds like CG5 that then prompted the real CG5 to respond to this CG5 meme that has taken such virality. Who is CG5? Who is this person? I've never heard of them. Um, now I know that they're an electronic music artist, but they're pretty new, and, uh, and I just, I was very perplexed. People responded to it thinking it was funny, which was good. I always appreciate when people think that I'm funny. But then somebody said that I am 20 years too old to know who CG5 is. To which I responded and said, if that is true, then you should not be on this app because I am only 28. And so that means that you are an eight year old if you know who CG5 is. Only eight year olds know who CG5 is. And uh, that they have not responded to that message. But I did, I officially got called old. So I'm officially an old man. It's simply true. You, we can no longer deny my elderly status. Who is CG5? That's what I'm saying, Alice. That's what I'm saying. Who is CG5? I don't know. Have you tried being hip with the youths instead of old? You know I have, and I'll try that next. I'll see if that works for me. But no, I've not done that as of yet. So do I have to take a picture of this thing just to discover what I even need to do? Because it feels a little redundant. Does this mean I am old? You are also old. 20 years too old. 20 years too old to know who CG5 is, apparently. Undoubtedly, CG5 has been around for 20 years. Or you have to be 8 years old to have heard of them. One of these things must be true. Do you want an answer to the photo thing? I would love an answer to the photo thing. Because I tried taking photos and I could only get the angle for two of them. So this time, now that I know that Moakin can do it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna raid. I'm just gonna raid the factory. Now that I know the truth. Nope, nope, wrong one. I did explosive beef. I didn't mean beef. I didn't mean beef. I did not want the beef. I wanted them walking. Why do I keep pressing that button? Oh yeah, we tall. We tall. Oh, of course. Perfect timing. Hang on. Hang on, I need Mwakin! I can't! I can't summon Mwakin! Ah! 
Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Enough of this. Stop. Stop with your antics. I wanted my Mwaken! I didn't want all of you guys to find me! And now I've left, and now, and now, and now I've left my friend. I've left the friend that I needed behind. I can't believe you've done this. Can you be summoned yet, Mwaken? 53 seconds! I can do, I can do beef, I guess. Okay, I totally did it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'm just waiting for walking, friend. I'll find him eventually. 13 seconds. I can do more beef. Bye! Okay, time for walking? Yeah! No! Okay, now I gotta find some steps. Die. Walking. This is painful. If you think this is painful to watch, just know it's even more painful to experience. I actually, this has been my least favorite part of the game. Pretty comfy saying this is my least favorite part of the game. It's kind of like, you know how the big argument against, like, the modern Sonic the Hedgehog games is, um... The big argument against modern Sonic the Hedgehog games is that they aren't, uh... They stop Sonic from being fast, and so it defeats the whole point of Sonic. And um, that's kind of how this feels. The whole point of this game is being able to explore and possess multiple things and figure out how to possess them, and this is defeating the purpose of that. It's caused me to slow down. And to s save scum and to spam the same way. Who's left that's going to target me? Anybody left that's going to target me? Anybody left? Take a picture. Okay, tell me what to do. Holy moly, it looks like they're using animals as an energy source. Holy moly, indeed. You should be able to shut this one down by destroying all the genies. A big impact or an explosion should do the trick. Okay. That means I need Mwaken back. However, Mwaken is probably not here. As I would have predicted. So... Is 
how long until Mwah comes back? Oh, I see, because I'm crouched. Oh, you're joking me. You're yanking my chain, dude. No shot. All right, where's Milwaukee, dude? Shoot me before I get the chance to shoot you. Where's the other one? I, I heard his. I heard his little. Blah, 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 blah. I don't see him. Where's the other? Where's the other? One? Why is it aiming so high? What is it doing? <laughs> what is it doing, dude? Oh my goodness. Why is this part so broke? It's so scuffed. What is it doing? I'm almost out of energy, too. What on earth? Homie. The explosion wasn't big enough because of course it wasn't. Because, because why would it be, dude? I'm telling you. It's part of the game. Real Scott. No. No! Stay up there! Okay. Oh, you can slingshot? Are there other Jennies to get? Slingshotting is definitely much easier. This has taken so much longer than it should have. I wonder if I can shoot from this far away. No. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have thought, you know. But I had high hopes. While we're here. Win in France. Okay. Welcome back, Perry. We're just struggling over here. I'm certain I don't know what you're referring to. I am I am a child. I'm a little girl. <laughs> Hi. The others left on this side of the fence. Ah, stop when you're targeting me. I'm in need of him walking. Desperate need of them walking. Okay, buddy. Okay.
Quit with the walking! I gotta get all the way up there. Oh my goodness. What? What? I mean, am I am I wrong? <laughs> am I the one that's wrong here? Uh, or or am I aiming and the aim is just wild? I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one that thinks the aim is just is just wild. I am targeting those bad boys directly. This is taking so much longer than it should. I'm not gonna lie, I think I think Chia would have gotten a four and a half out of me as well, but this section alone has already taken it down to a four. Hard. Okay. Good to be done with that. Good to be done with that. All right, we have one more factory to do. We've taken down two factories in an hour. An actual hour. Got a meeting, so I need to go back to Lurk Sea Cam. Well done. The slaughterhouse is done. It'll open up the thing so you can clog it. GG, take them all down. No thank you. <laughs> no thank you. No, we're going to take our three minute break. And then whenever we come back, I will invite Wise and Lemur to come on and we will have our twig, the weekend geek, for the upcoming week ahead. So let us go to a save point. All right, we're gonna save game, take a three minute break, and whenever we get back, I'll get Wise and Lemur on here, and we will do our twig, and then we'll wrap up stream. Should be a ton of fun. Do stick around, Twig is a, a interactive news show, so you are very able to participate, weigh in in the chat, um, react with us, let us know what, uh, what you've been doing and that kind of thing, so that should be an exciting and fun time, but in order for us to get to that, we gotta take a quick break, so I'll be back in three minutes. Take a break, stretch your legs, get a snack, get away from the screen done. for just a second, and uh, we'll catch you back here in three minutes. <laughs> cracking noises until you end the strike. Do you guys like the cracking noise? If, how does it sound over um, over the over the fancy microphone? That used to be how I would do the Predator. I don't know how it sounds over the microphone. And I used to tell people that I could, uh, I could, um, pop my neck like that. This is really happening at long last. I'm fed up. I can't do it anymore. Spectrum has pushed me too far. You've done, you've done too much this time, Spectrum. And you were here for it. The folks that are in the chat right now, you were here for this monumental moment where I finally am broken like the bat by Spectrum. I'm putting on my to-do list right now. Call Spectrum. All of you, all of you are here. All of you that are here right now in the chat, you're a part of this moment. You're gonna get a badge that says you were a part of this moment of Checkpoint Church history. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding. Do it, please. Make it happen, if you know how to do it. If not, I can look into how to do it. But we're, this is a moment. I'm calling Spectrum. I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know what, it, what the difference is gonna be, but we're getting, a, we're getting a new modem. At the very least, we're getting a new modem and a new router. And um, this is just absurd. My corner of the internet and you can't have it exterminates anyone looking in her direction. Absolutely trombone. Only a Dalek could do that. Oh, this is an example of what not to do. Don't be a Dalek. Be a trombone Dalek in particular. Trombone Daleks, as you know, are, are notoriously generous. You are allowed to lament. If you've never heard a pastor say that before, let me assure you, you are allowed to lament. You are allowed to doubt. 
You are allowed to be hurt. You're allowed to be angry. But at the end of the day, whatever your prayer looks like, whether it's an angry prayer, a happy prayer, whatever it may be, I hope that it gets to the action of entering into a relationship with Jesus Christ and with the body of Christ that is the church. That's what we're about. Oh, I thought it was three. I thought it was three hits. I thought it was three hits and then he was done. Ah, oh, I thought it was three hits. I thought it was three. I thought it was three hits. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Oh, there I am next to me. It's little me next to big me. Love it. All right, Wizen, if you're here, go ahead and hop in the waiting room for me and I will drag you in here. Uh, let me make sure that I got our intro set up. I do. And uh, hopefully we have all our slides correctly as we ought to. And we're going to get right into Twig. So let me go ahead and change our category. Ad starting again? Didn't you guys just have ads? Weird. All right, let's turn on music until Wizen's able to join us. Wizen, once you're ready, let me know and we'll get you we'll get you hooked up. How do I hop in the room? I've never done Twitch. No, uh, over on Discord. So if you go to the waiting room on Discord under Get a Room, I'll drag in, I'll drag you into the secret room. I know. Yeah, ads are going. should have said that earlier. Okay, welcome back. Wizened, if you aren't already, it's uh, on Discord. Under Get a Room, you go to the waiting room. And I'll drag you into the proper room. rest of you out there hope you're looking forward to twig if you're unfamiliar with what it is this is our weekly geekly news show where we uh we tackle the news coming through the week still looking for the right place over on the sidebar under get a room it's called waiting room and you just tap on that waiting room and it'll let you right in I wish you could ping rooms. I guess I could invite you. No. Or I can DM it to you. Oh. I just DM'd it to you proper channel. There you go. 
And once you turn your video feed on, you'll show up in this little camera box right here. Oh, how'd you get booted? Do you click on it again? Don't click on it again. You should be in here now. So now I should be able to hear you. There we go. All right, you can hear us. We can hear you. I can't see you, but that's not a big deal if your if your camera isn't isn't um, cooperating. Well, I oh, have there we go. it on on the Discord. There we go. All right, there we go. I think there's just a little bit of a delay. That's all Mine. good. I have a uh, rural mountain town internet, so I hear that. I hear that. All right, well, let's get right into it since time is of the essence and. Um, We'll do our little intro bit here, and then we'll be right back. So everybody, welcome to Twig. Yeah. Sorry for the delay. Uh, still, it's the first time I've done it, so thank you for your patience. All right, there's the intro. Perfect. <laughs> I know you can, Perry. It's all good. It's all good. Technical difficulties as we figure it all out and get everything together. But now we are good to go and we're going to get started. So the way that we always start this, folks, is uh, I will ask the chat and then Wizen and I will also talk about it. Um, what did you watch? What did you play? What did you read this weekend? And then also I should give Wizen a chance to enter, uh, introduce themselves. So go ahead and tell us who you are, your level two member. Uh, but anything else that we should know, and then we'll get into watch, play, read uh, over in the chat. So over to you, Wizen. Yeah, uh, my name is Wizen Lemur on most platforms. Uh, there is another account, Zombie Doc, that I will play with on my Xbox occasionally. You can see MLB23 over my shoulder. Um, important things to know, I do live in a small rural town, so this is a really great way for me to connect to community and to be uh, involved in things I care about is through the digital, uh, any kind of digital network like this. Um, and Checkpoint has been really great. Um, so I stepped up a little bit and decided to take on a little bit more of a leadership role. Um, other important things, I do use he and they pronouns, um, so either one interchangeably, and I'm also open to questions about that through uh, private messaging or through the chat. Probably not through the chat because that's not our focus today, but um, if you want to private message me, if you have questions about pronouns specifically, uh, I'm totally open to that. Awesome. Perfect. Well, with that, what did you watch and read and play over the past weekend? What's been Let's see. I... I have been trying out MLB 23. Um, I've actually really enjoyed that uh, sort of mechanic, that game mechanic setup, the way they have it, um, and how intricate the uh, difficulty settings can get. Um, and then I've also been Power Wash Simulator 2, or not 2, Power Wash Simulator as well. Um, and what was the other one? that I, Oh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I saw the update dropped, and so I had to hop on again and see what was going on there. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be talking about that here in just a moment. Yeah. Um, I have just finished reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, and I highly recommend it. It definitely went some places. It was a really, like, brutal read by the end, very much, like, sadder than I expected, but um, a good read, especially for gamers because it feels like it's in our universe um, and it's something that we can appreciate as like uh, video game people, especially if you're a video game developer, you could really have an appreciation for it. Playing, I've, I'm still working my way slowly through Yakuza 0, um, enjoying it a whole lot. I just met Majima really and starting to figure out his storyline, and he is an absolute goofball for somebody with an eye patch. You would think that somebody, a Yakuza with an eye patch, would be a whole lot more like uh, grungier, but he is a goof, and I love him. So. That's fun. And then I am watching not much anything. I just watched the Mario movie, but I won't talk about that for spoiler reasons because it just came out. Um, I also caught up on some movies. I finally watched the anime Bell, the movie Bell, and uh, I enjoyed it. I don't think it was quite as good as everybody had hyped it up to be, but it was pretty good. And I'm hoping to go see the movie Suzume if I'm able to catch it in theaters before it comes to streaming. But that's the latest um, Makoto Shinkai who did like your name and weathering with you and all that stuff. Um, it's the latest from that director. So 
definitely on board to see it. Folks, as you're hearing this, if you want to share in the chat what you watched, read, or played this past weekend, let us know as well. But with that, we're going to move on to some of our stories for today. Uh, the first one is about E3. So literally minutes uh, after our twig from last week aired, um, E3 was canceled. And so we were last week speculating about whether or not E3 would happen after, um, who was it that pulled out? Uh, was it Ubisoft maybe? There were like two two company, Tencent and Ubisoft maybe, pulled out. And so I was like, yeah, it's probably going to cancel. And then it immediately did. So not really much to like add here, uh, but a bummer, a bummer nonetheless. I think, you know, a lot. there's a lot of mixed feelings about E3 and the ESA. Some people really love it. Some people really don't. Um, but I think it's sad to see the end of an era happen kind of regardless. Uh, I, I think in my notes, it was something like, is digital killing the IRL star mm. or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> no, that's a that's a great point. And I think that that's the big question that everybody's asking themselves about, like, if this event that felt so ubiquitous is capable of being canceled, like what else is? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I hope that we don't see. Like, I hope other people are able to adapt well. I think E3, there were, I, th I think it was like five or six years ago that E3 doxed all of their vendors. Um, and they never really recovered from that. <laughs> like, I think they were, they yeah. were sued out the wazoo and that was where things really got in trouble for them. Yeah. That Zando would do says, it. says playing the RE4 remake, Marvel Snap and watch Super Mario Brothers movie and been reading Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, and he also shared that it used to be a goal of his to go to E3. Now he just wants to go to Evo or GDQ. Yeah. I can think of a lot of ones that I would like to go to. Honestly, I would love to go to PAX. Um, I know that literally just happened, but if I could ever get to PAX East, uh, I would, I would, I would be thrilled to play some of those indie games and get to experience all that development scene. But yeah. So that's E3. Another random news out there. This is kind of something, uh, off the wall that nobody was expecting. Um, but they are remaking Moana for whatever reason. Dwayne Johnson announced that they're remaking a live action Moana, um, I have a feeling this is just Dwayne The Rock Johnson wanting to do whatever he wants to do and just, uh, you know, using his massive amount of star power to just be like, I want to make another, uh, I want to make another <laughs> Moana. And people were just like, yeah, okay, Dwayne, we'll let you make another Moana. We'll, so, yeah. we'll let you. We're not going to smell what The Rock is cooking. Yeah. We're not going to find out um, what can happen if we say no to you. So. Yep. I am very Some curious to see what they do with him as far as Maui. Like, is it going to mm -hmm. be like a CGI live action experience where he's like edited? Is it going to be like a suit? Um, because he does not have the body type of Maui at all. <laughs> like uh, even the slightest bit um, doesn't look like him, doesn't have the hair like him. And yeah. really it just wouldn't even make sense for him to play that character beyond the voice. So I, I don't get it. I think the most he's got is like the barrel chest. Yeah, but I mean, the barrel chest doesn't, it doesn't have the like. With Maui, you have to have like the barrel belly too. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Like it's it's, the, it's like ass. almost. Um, You're not trying it's to think not of. The yeah, the body type, but it's very much like straight lines. He's like straight down, and the rock is yeah. like a triangle, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. the triangle just doesn't it doesn't work. So I'll be very interested to see how it goes. Alice is saying why and Moana is too new. None of the remakes are as good as the originals. Yeah. Now, I haven't really dug the like live action remakes. I'm I'm curious about the Little Mermaid one coming out just because Little Mermaid is so old. Yeah. But uh, Beauty and the Beast was just okay. And, you know, it, it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see why this happens and what they do to make it actually different. Um, I love Moana. It's one of my favorites. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, that's honestly the reason why I'm probably the most disappointed about this is because of the fact that I do love this story so much and I don't understand why we're getting it again so soon. Yeah, it. I saw that somewhere um, before I saw it in the notes for today and was just kind of like, this, what, why, yeah. why? So. It doesn't make any sense. And it was also announced off the heels of another um, movie getting its cast. I'm trying to remember what it was. I can't remember. Lilo and Stitch. They're remaking Lilo and Stitch with live action as well. And so they were just, they literally just announced the cast. And so I was like, same general, like, vicinity, same general vibe as Moana, um, but yeah. telling a very different story. And that's a remake that I can at least somewhat get behind. I'd be interested to see how they do it. And it's been long enough that, like, Stitch is in the nostalgia vision of millennials. Right. 
and it could be interesting to see it again. Yeah. Um, and know? it, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, like, it st- Lilo and Stitch, we're getting to the point where the people who really enjoyed that as kids are having kids. Um, and so that that target of, like, young families makes sense. Um, Moana, I, I would have to agree that it's too new. Yeah. I didn't grow up with Moana. Like, I was a parent. <laughs> right. I was a parent whenever Moana came out. And as I've already discussed was, earlier in the stream, I'm very young. So it's not fair. <laughs> Don't try and nostalgia bait me with a, with a movie that's only a couple years old. Right, right. Zando says, I hope The Rock looks like Nikali from Street Fighter Five with crazy CGI hair. And Sneaky Pigs says, the live remakes are never as good as the animation. Just stop. Uh, <laughs> and then Alice, Alice is talking about Little Mermaid and how uh, felt represented by the pale ginger kid with tomato soup hair. And they have made a pretty drastic character change that was somewhat controversial. I will say I saw a trailer literally yesterday at the Super Mario movie for the remake of uh, Little Mermaid. And um, I liked it more than the first one. The one that was like 30 seconds and was just her singing Part of Your World. Actually getting to see her as the character and see her um, more in that role and hear her say like actual lines and not just sing the song. Um, I enjoyed it more. Uh, I'm excited for it now. Uh, I think that trailer got me more hyped about it than the original trailer. So we shall see. But at the very least, I can say that Nora, who is my, my four-year-old, uh, did sit up on the edge of her seat when she saw that trailer and was like, Ariel. She whispered. She was Ariel as soon as she saw it. So she was so excited um, to, to see that. So I'm excited for the opportunity to at least get another, another version of that story told. Um, and we'll see what changes they make that feel necessary. With that, we're going to move on to the next story. Uh, which is um, Xbox Game Pass games. Um, what was added to Game Pass this month in April 2023? Um, we'll also go through some of the dates there. Um, so I think we can just go back and forth, Wizen, if you want to do that. Uh, yes, let me grab. I made notes. Let me grab. I did have the migration trailer before mine as well, Zando. Uh, and I and I I thought it looked okay. Wasn't a surprise announcement of a duck hunt movie. Uh, that would have been real exciting. It was a long trailer. They were really excited about migration. All right, are we just going through the list? Um, yep. I don't know much about any of the games. <laughs> I, I did not have a chance to look through, uh, look up good. a lot of these, so I know the big ones, but. Yeah, really um, just highlighting them, any that might stand out um, to you. If they do, then good. If not, then that's okay too. Uh, Loop Hero. That was one that I was on my list for a while. So it's coming on the 4th, so it should already be on your Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, Everspace 2 uh, is coming out on uh, PC uh, on the 6th, which was is today. It's today. Yeah. So we've got a couple coming out today. Yeah. Iron Brigade is also coming out today just to console and to cloud, not PC. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo on the 12th to console, PC, and cloud. NHL 23 dropping on the 13th on console. That's one that I uh, always like to at least check out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, just see what they've done and updated since the last time I checked it out, which is always every other year. And then we've got uh, Minecraft Legends on the 18th to console, PC, and cloud. A game that I'm very excited about, Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, is hitting the scenes on April 20th. I don't know if you played Coffee Talk. Have you played it, Wizen? I have not, but that is one that I was like, what? what is that? Is that With one your of those love cozy of, uh, of cozy games... You yeah. need to play Coffee Talk, 100%. Is it is uh, the episode one on Game Pass right now? It might be. I think it is. And you should absolutely okay. give it a play. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Excellent story. Really fun little cozy elements to it. And I think you would enjoy it. Well, a bunch of space just opened up on my console because they took MLB 22 off recently. Um, and that was a big chunk in my space, my storage space. Uh, so we also got the last cha- last case of Benedict Fox, which is one that I wanted to check out. That's dropping um, the 27th, uh, console, and PC, and cloud. Homestead Arcana may be coming out at some point in April. Didn't give us a date for that one. So, And that'll come to PC. And then the games that are leaving, which I was disappointed to see a lot of these games that are leaving. I know Dane the Pain, I think that he's already hopped off, but uh, Dane the Pain will be sad to see one of them go. Uh, so we'll start with Life is Strange, True Colors uh, is leaving. And we got Moon Glow Bay. That's the one that Isn't I think it? that he'd be bummed about. Uh, Panzer Corps 2 is leaving. Uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. Oh, man, I didn't want to get this one. The Dungeon <laughs> of Nihulbuk. Uh, the Long Dark. And the Rift Breaker. 
And All those right. are what is leaving from Game Pass this month. So any of those games that you may want to uh, want to play before it leaves, be sure to grab. Otherwise, um, say goodbye to them. And let us know if any of those games that are coming to Game Pass interest you and will be ones that you want to play. I will hype up Coffee Talk uh, until I am blue in the face. And Loop Hero was a real highlight. So uh, that would be worth people's times. With that, we move on to our next segment, which is Disney Dreamlight Valley, as uh, Wisend already mentioned, just got its latest update. So I'll actually just let you take this one because I know very sure. little about Disney Dreamlight. Uh, well, their latest update, I'm still playing to get the Simba and the Nala, but you can see on the like opening screen what new characters basically they've added in the update. Um, so you know pretty much when you open the game that they've added Simba and Nala. I'm not quite sure how you get them as your friends yet. Um, but they've added, uh, it seems like they've added quite a few, like, little side missions that keep you a little bit more engaged, um, as you're just sort of wandering around the village, doing your daily tasks, you're, you're apt to find more stuff just laying around the ground that'll trigger a little side mission that you get to do. Um, I actually thought it was really funny, one of the first ones that you find is for many who makes you do a quest early in the game that requires like 200 clay or something mm. like that. And this is one of those collection games where you have to like dig to find the clay. I had like half the forest dug up and most of the beach dug up before I got the clay. And so my favorite part so far of this new update is you do this little side quest for Minnie and then like complete non secular at the end, she goes, oh, by the way, and goes on this whole conversation about, did I make you get too much clay? And you ha you have the option of being like, it was so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, and then at the end, she ends up giving you like a full stack back, uh, which is nice. Um, and I thought that was really interesting because it, to me, indicates that the developers are kind of like listening to what they've done well and what they could improve on. Um, and they're kind of like going back and, and that's always, that's a, that's a fascinating thing to me having grown up with video games that just came out and they were done. Right. Kind of thing. So yeah, the games, uh, a service I, model, you would think surely if anybody yeah. can do it, it'd be Disney. And, you would, uh, you would think. I hope so. We'll see. That's the one thing I've heard is that the like, um, foraging in the game is pretty rough. Uh, and yeah. especially for like the more hard to find, uh, that it's, it's really awful. So yeah. I'll be interested be. to see how they continue to adjust that and uh, and fix it up. I played all of an hour of Disney Dreamlight, and I was like, yep, I know what this game is. I'm not going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my decision. Yeah. I think the only thing that would get me to play it is if, if, my, if my kid wanted to play it, that would be a way that I could like get her into video games. Mm, yeah. But yeah. it just wasn't for me. But let us know in the chat if you're playing uh, Disney Dreamlight still and if you're excited for the update with that. To move on to a random one. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, as a as Super Mario Brothers movie is uh, hitting the airwaves, is actually doing some interviews. And so, with a Shigeru Miyamoto interview, um, that means we're going to get random fun facts because he's not somebody that gets interviewed very often. And uh, apparently, weighs in that he would not trust Dr. Mario. Uh, I don't know why he felt the need to highlight this, but just talked about all of the different powers and things and uh, careers that Mario has had. And just said that the only one that doesn't really make sense is the Dr. Mario one because he is not uh, educated. So he is not actually a doctor. He is purely a blue collar person that is dressed up as a doctor. So uh, it's now confirmed Dr. Mario, not trustworthy and not a doctor for whatever reason. Uh, so that's a that's a random little one. Do you have anything to add there or just not a doctor? <laughs> just not a doctor. Don't just don't trust doctor. the not a doctor. So some of you, if you're in the anime scene, may remember years uh, ago whenever Verve launched. Verve was an exciting thing to kind of come out of nowhere and kind of felt like a fun little conglomerate of YouTube companies. So that was where um, that was where we had this like overlap of things like Mondo Media and uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember the name of what was their company. It was where Rooster Teeth originally was. There were all of these like. Uh, companies that were YouTube companies that banded together to form this conglomerate that became Verve. And then they were around for like two or three years and then a bunch of them left. And then Verve bought um, somebody and then somebody bought Verve. And so most recently Crunchyroll owns Verve 
and owns Funimation and wants to put all of the anime that they can on their servers on the Crunchyroll side. And so officially now, Verve is shutting down. So I think there's like two or three platforms even remaining uh, on Verve, but uh, they're now officially going to go away. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're going to have to find a new home somewhere else, um, whether they'll be adapted into Crunchyroll or whether they'll find a new home somewhere else. But uh, it is it is a sad end of an era. I was a fan of Verve. I was an early subscriber. I think I was one of the first people, um, whenever they announced, to sign up for that streaming platform because I was excited for some of the things that um, were on there. But I think it's just going to go off into nothing land. Uh, I even think that, like, um, uh, what's the name? My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Their, their show was on there for a little while. Like, it was really random um, chunks of YouTube information um, that now is just gone. So... A bummer, end of an era, but it is what it is. That's just kind of the way that the, the media company works, and hopefully Crunchyroll will treat them well and continue to put out good, high-quality anime for us. All right, any thoughts on and, that one? Go ahead. Uh, I am not much of an anime person. Um, I had a brief stint of anime in, like, eighth grade when my only friends watched anime, and that was it, but it wasn't the good kind. Right, right. Um, and so now it's it's very difficult because largely it's just like middle school flashbacks for me. There you go. Unfortunately, like I I can absolutely appreciate it as a as an art form and that it takes a lot of talent and skill to become an animator in anime style or and and I can recognize it's its own style and all that. But it is one of those things that's just really difficult for me to engage with. So. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm always around to make any recommendations for anime if anybody ever does get curious, but uh, I definitely feel that. I think it's definitely, a, and, and not an acquired taste, but it's definitely something that's like weird enough that you have to know the right like corners to turn to. So totally feel that. Um, but that is shutting down on May 3rd. Let us know if you're sad to see Verve go or if you ever even jumped on the Verve ship out there in the comments. Next up. A new shape has been discovered by mathematicians, and this is kind of a random one. It's not even necessarily nerdy. I almost consider this one more like geeky news, um, which it is the Week in Geek, so this is definitely fair game. Um, but it is called an aperiodic monotile that they're calling by its code name Einstein, um, which is actually not based off of the famous uh, mathematician, not but is instead Einstein. based off of its true iteration of the term, which is Einstein one stone, one tile that repeats, um, or does not ever repeat in perpetuity. So it's a 13-sided shape that no matter how many times you line it up end to end, it will never repeat the same pattern. I got so excited about that when I saw that on TikTok. Um, I, the way I saw it was I saw a stitch with somebody who was like, I thought math was like done. <laughs> no, we're math with is... math, right? Right, we're finished with math. No, we're not finished with math. We are still doing really cool things with things like math and science. And I wish I didn't have a bad math teacher that made me hate it. Mm. Yeah. Math can be really fun. I find that that's the two parallels. You either, your math teacher will either be the most fun person to exist mm -hmm. on planet earth or the worst person to exist. Mm -hmm. There's no in between with math teachers. They're either the greatest teacher or the worst teacher. Whereas for the most part, like social studies history, they're always gonna be fine. That's going to be great. English teachers are always the best teachers. Those are my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, interesting, interesting, random, but still a curious thing. I think it looks like a T-shirt. All that I can see is a T-shirt, and I can't unsee it because I see the two arms uh, and then, like, a little ripped a little ripped um, uh, crop top oh, or yeah. something on the bottom and the neck hole. So I don't know why, but I can't unsee it. So if you do see it now, congratulations. You will never not see a T-shirt. Next I up. think they were calling it a hat. If you turn it upside down, it's a hat. Yeah. They were calling it a hat. They called it the hat shape at one point. I think they've landed on Einstein now because that's all I'm seeing. But mm -hmm. um, it definitely, I definitely had the hat article originally shared. So strange. Uh, with that, this is something we're going to deviate a bit from the um, order here for just a second just to go through the BAFTA um, awards. So I forgot to add this to our list of things. We're just going to go through it real quick rather than highlight it too long, just because there are a couple that really need to be highlighted. Um, but the British Games Awards, the BAFTA Games Awards uh, did officially happen last week, and there were some real surprises on here. So we're going to go from the bottom to the top, read through them real quick, and then I will... Um, then we'll move on to our next segment of the show. So I'll just, I'll pound these out real fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Immortality won for best narrative. 
Um, Pete Scaturo uh, of God of War Ragnarok took home music. Keith Leary uh, and Bear McCreary also took that home. Um, Horizon Forbidden West, Technical Achievement. Endling Extinction is Forever took home Game Beyond Entertainment, which is their Games for Impact category. I disagree. I think Endling was fine, but that's whatever. Uh, family and Social Game, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Best Performer in a Supporting Role was Leia de Leon Hayes from uh, God of War Ragnarok. The Best Original Property was Elden Ring. The Best Evolving Game was FF14. The EE Game of the Year uh, was God of War. The Performer in a Leading Role was Christopher Judge from God of War, um, who did a significantly shorter speech that time. Game Design was Vampire Survivors. Fellowship is Shuhei Yoshida. British Game is Roller Dome. Multiplayer Game is Elden Ring. Artistic Achievement was Tunic. Debut Game was Tunic. Audio Achievement was God of War Ragnarok. And then, as Sneaky has already highlighted there, the true surprise uh, was best game of 2023 was Vampire Survivors. Um, so that was something that we had to highlight because, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe my jaw hit the ground whenever best game was Vampire Survivors. It's a fine game. It is not the best game of last year. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Um, I was glad to see Tunic take home some awards there and do some debut game stuff and artistic achievement. I thought that was pretty good. Honestly, the art for Tunic wasn't as inspired to me. Maybe it's just the menu, but um, whatever. And I was very curious to see God of War not take home nearly as many awards at the BAFTAs as they did at the Game Awards. But that's just going through the quick highlights. If you have any thoughts, Wizen, you're welcome to weigh in, but I know that I didn't throw that on the outline, so that was just highlighting it real quick. No thought, no extra thoughts to add. Um, I need to watch more of those. Yeah, the Baftas are great. If you've never, if you've never checked them out, um, they are a, a good award show that I try and catch every year. I try to catch the TGAs. I try to catch uh, Baftas every year, just because I think those are two that are really worth watching. All right, next up we have uh, things that have been submitted to us. So this is news that you could submit to us if you would like to submit news. For next week, um, then you can either drop it on our Discord or bit.ly slash deartwig, D-E-A-R-T-W-I-G. Uh, that'll send you a link that you'll be able to uh, put in your news and let us know that you'd like it to be covered uh, in the next week. But we do have some highlights from the Discord already uh, for this week. First up, Splash Force shared with us that Pokemon Stadium is finally coming to Nintendo Switch Online. It was announced whenever the N64 um, was officially announced, but now it will be coming to NSO subscribers on April 12th. The big bummer is that you cannot bring over um, Pokemon from your Game Boy Advance or from any like Pokemon Home or anything else. So uh, that is disappointing, but as Buish noted on our Discord, that's just a you can't bring them over yet situation. I think we're going to get there. I hope we're going to get there um, and that they just weren't able to make it happen by the time the first stadium came out. But I loved Pokemon Stadium. The best part of the game for me was the mini games, And so I will probably at least boot it up just to play through some mini games, maybe next Thursday. Um, but that's a highlight for me. All right, next up is uh, Sony. This was uh, submitted by Sneaky Pigs. Uh, Sony has announced they are getting back into the handheld game, but they're wanting to focus more on remote play than on cloud play. So... We will see how that goes. I think it's a weird call. I think that Sony did an excellent job with the Vita. Uh, the PSP was certainly a also very good um, uh, console, and they definitely like owned that corner of console marketing for a while. Without the uh, Vita, I don't think one of my favorite game franchises of all time, Danganronpa, would exist. So I'm very thankful that the Vita existed, and I'm thankful for Sony's involvement in the handheld game. But I'm very curious to see why they're choosing to not go in the in the realm of cloud. And that might just be me talking because I pretty much exclusively play cloud games. Um, pretty much all the games that I play are on, on Xbox X Cloud. If, if, if I don't have them on Steam, if I don't have them, if they're not Switch exclusive, then I'm playing a cloud game. Those are pretty much my criteria. So I was curious to see that and uh, hopeful that they do end up working towards something. And currently codenamed the Q Light, the Q Light. All right. Nice. Any thoughts there? Uh, 
I'm always interested in handhelds, but it's very difficult for my Xbox brain to switch over to the like where the uh, yeah. triangle square which circle one X. is what. Yeah, because the X is technically like the X is at the top, which is where Y is, which doesn't make sense because the X should be on. I don't know. It's a whole thing in my brain. <laughs> I have tried. Um, if I can pick up like a cheap used one somewhere, I might pick it up, but otherwise. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to like PlayStation exclusives just because it just doesn't work out very well. I mostly just get frustrated. What's actually funny to me is that my Nintendo brain took a lot of time to switch to Xbox because yeah. they are right, left, left, right. They swap the A, B, and the X, Y back and yep. forth. And so it took me forever to get used. And whenever I get into like an Xbox game and I play for a while and I switch back to Nintendo, it throws me off every time. So yep. yeah, I totally feel you there. At least, at least, typically, like PlayStation and Xbox are are direct corollaries. If you don't look at them, yeah. they play the exact same. Whereas Nintendo plays. That's all true. Stuff. Yeah, um, that's true. Another piece of it, sneaky news. Weirdly, I had an easier time with it, the Switch. I yeah. don't know what it was. That's interesting. I guess because it's so different. But I almost wish yeah. that Nintendo kept with the weird wonky controllers, like the GameCube era stuff, yeah. because that oh, was easier yeah. for me to remember than whenever they went like the codified. Um, program of handheld controllers so another piece of sneaky news shrek 5 is apparently happening and uh i don't know why i don't know why we have a shrek 5 i don't know why we need a shrek 5 but apparently they're wanting to work on shrek 5 i think that it is because of the success of puss in boots the last wish but i i i I don't know what more story they're going to tell i can assure you i've never seen shrek forever after I think was the fourth one. Uh, I maybe have seen Shrek 3 like once or twice. Um, I definitely remember growing up and enjoying Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. Uh, and I'm sure if I went back, they would probably hold up well enough. Um, I know they were definitely raunchy and raunchier than most of the kids' movies that I would have been allowed to see. So that was always the fun part of them. But I just don't know how they would keep going. We'll see. Yeah, my dad and I actually just talked about Shrek because of the movies that I was like, let's watch this all the time when I was a kid. Shrek was one that he actually liked. Yeah. Um, and in particular, he really liked Donkey. Oh, yeah. Um, so, like, this, uh, just reading the, the like, headline, uh, Dreaming of a Donkey spinoff, my dad would be thrilled if there was a Donkey <laughs> spinoff. <laughs> I'd be, that would be a very curious story. I feel like Donkey needs, like, a short he needs like a series of shorts. That would be the best thing. I, to do with yeah, him. donkey shorts would be great. But it's got to be. Um, Puss in Boots had the most like lore to build out, uh, yeah. which is why the story kind of well, worked. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of lore to be had in a donkey marrying a dragon. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky's with us. A, a donkey spinoff for shorts would be would be fun. Um, yeah. I, I I think the shorter the better. I definitely don't want to watch a donkey movie. Um, yeah, I don't know that I could do that. Not my steez. Uh, maybe a maybe a series of of shorts or something like that, like a, a la Cuphead, where it's like two shorts packed into one episode. That would be something mm. I'd be down for. But we'll see if that ever happens. Okay, with that, we're going to move on to. Uh, you're not going to hear me sound ridiculous, or you're, I'm just going to sound ridiculous to you, but you're not going to hear the fun sound. Um, but it is time to move on to everybody's favorite segment of the show. Oh wait, no, why is that there? It's not supposed to be there yet. Uh, Bit.ly slash Dear Twig. Now it's time to move on to. <laughs> At this point in nerd history. Okay, I may have to move something <laughs> real quickly while we're talking about this. But this is where we tackle all the things that came out on this day in nerd history. So what happened throughout time and space on April 6th um, throughout time. And uh, I guess we can do the same thing. We need to go back or forth. Or if you just have like, if you have a preference of which one you want to take, um, that works as well. Um, I can actually, I can take movies and... I don't know that I know any like fun facts. I did try to look up some fun facts off the top of my head. I mean, not off the top of my head. I mean, on the internet. I, I smashed two sentences together there. I don't know any fun facts off the top of my head, and I tried to look some up on the internet. <laughs> right. But I did find some uh, movies that are not on our list, one of which that I was very surprised you did not catch. Oh, interesting. So. Okay, well, I'll go over games real quick. Some games that came out in, on this day in history. Uh, was back in 2012, Xenoblade Chronicles hit the U.S. market. Um, so it may have been released in Japan first. I don't remember if they were still doing that in 2012 or not, but um, it did hit the, the airwaves here in 
the U.S. 2012. Uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver hit the U.K. in 2001. Same with Conker's Bad Fur Day also hit the UK in 2001, which I found very interesting. Those could not be two more different games to have released on the same day, and I think that's pretty hilarious. And then 1992, Contra 3 uh, released in the US. All right, so for movies in 2018, we got A Quiet Place, and in 20, uh, 2007, we'll just say 2007. 2007, we got Death Proof. Um, in, these, in a similar vein of the sort of horror, uh, thriller, action kind of uh, area, in 2013, we had Evil Dead. In 2019, we had Pet Cemetery. Um, I think that says 2014. America Winter Soldier. That'd be 2014. Oh, really? And this is one, 2001. What came out in 2001 on this day that I am surprised that Nerd Pastor Nate did not catch? <laughs> I'm very excited. I didn't know Winter Soldier came out on this day. I'm yeah. surprised I missed that. Uh, Pokemon 3, the movie, ah. came out on this day in 2001. Very curious. Yeah, those are like, those are dates that definitely wouldn't stick in my brain, but it does surprise me that they wouldn't mm. be anywhere. Um, yeah. I scour the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I, I find them, and sometimes I don't. Uh, and here, then every I now and again, a, go ahead. I found a good website. I'll send it to you. On Do the send me because I'm always looking for more. Um, I have a couple bookmarked, but sometimes they're trustworthy. Sometimes they're not super helpful. This is there. some fun facts. Uh, sometimes we have these in additions to games and movies. Sometimes we don't. It just kind of depends on what highlights on like websites. Uh, but these were three that I thought were pretty interesting. In 1931, going way back in time. Um, the original broadcast of Little Orphan Annie, uh, which is, of course, what Annie is based on, um, the, sh the actual like audio radio mm -hmm. production, um, started airing on NBC Radio back in 1931. Uh, and in 1906, the first animated cartoon um, was officially released, and it is uh, called Humorous Phases of Funny Faces by J. Stuart Blackton, um, and that was 1906. And then even further back, we're going even into the, um, the, the 19th century here, 1889 was the year that George Eastman began selling Kodak Flexible Film, the rolled film, commercially. I thought those were pretty interesting facts that uh, doesn't feel that long ago, but is also quite a long time ago. It's interesting to think about technology and how technology has continued to evolve. So I always like to highlight those, I like those things just because I think they're fascinating. It is right. really cool, and I wish I knew more uh, of those fun facts about that kind of stuff. So I'm going right. to be paying attention to that segment more. Yeah, I always enjoy At This Point in History, and that's why it's everybody's favorite segment of the show called At This Point in Nerd History. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now we're on to our next segment, which is upcoming releases. Uh, so we'll do the same thing we did earlier, where we'll just kind of go back and forth. Some of these may even kind of overlap with Xbox Game Pass and the things that we read earlier. The reason I don't normally include Xbox Game Pass in this segment of the show is because uh, most of those games, not most of those games, often those games are not new releases on Xbox. So all of our upcoming releases for the week are always going to be new games, not games that are getting a re-release on a different platform, because then we'd be here forever, because there are so many of those. So... We'll go back and forth. The first one is Across the Valley, uh, which is a virtual reality farming sim dropping today. Nice. Curse of the Sea Rats also dropping today. Everspace 2, which we did mention earlier, dropping today. Good luck with this uh, one. <laughs> ha. Hygen Urethil? Yeah. Mobile? Hygen Urethil. Dropping today? Yep, dropping on the mobile phone. Uh, it looks like a, um, looks like a uh, what's the name of that game? Oh my gosh, the anime game. Octopath Impact. Genshin Traveler? Impact. It looks like oh. a Genshin Impact clone. Uh, okay. Hyperviolent, which is a Doom clone, like a classic Doom clone, is dropping today. Marfusha, dropping today. Oxygen, also dropping today. Raven's Watch is dropping today. EA Sports PGA Tour is dropping tomorrow. Suffer the Night, also dropping tomorrow. The Library of Babel, which anybody in my indie scene, you may be very curious to learn more about that. If you liked games, if you like Metroidvanias, that might be one you want to check out. Uh, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened dropping on the 11th. Tron Identity is dropping on the 11th, which may you may like Tron games, you may not, but this one would definitely be very specific. This is a visual novel Tron game um, produced by Mike Bithell of Bithell Games. 
Very nice. Uh, Plantera 2. Dropping on the 12th. That's dropping on the 12th, as well as Rusted Moss, which is also dropping on the 12th. Both of those look like pretty interesting little uh, platformers and sims. Uh, and then we'll get into movies. Movies dropping both uh, uh, tomorrow. Both are actually dropping tomorrow. The first is... Uh, I got to say, my computer is running low on battery, so why don't you run through movies and TV while I go find my charger? Okay. Well, no, on the 7th is going to be Chevalier, which is a uh, film about a... Uh, slave child in the 1800s, 1700s in France who plays the violin and ends up rising out of that slavery status into a strange place of, uh, of class and distinction and race. Uh, should be an interesting film. I hope that it does well. And then Chupa is dropping on Netflix on the 7th. It looks like a kind of story where a child finds a baby version of maybe a Chupacabra. I don't know, but it's sweet and innocent, and so hopefully they uh, don't harm the poor little Chupa. TV, uh, it looks like Grease, Grease, uh, Rise of the Pink Ladies is dropping today on Paramount. So for those of you that really love the movie Grease, um, some kind of origin story on the Pink Ladies, and then something I could not be less excited for. Uh, I'm not a big Jeremy Renner fan in general, but let alone uh, Jeremy Renner doing renovations in a show called Renovations on the 12th on Disney+. Plus. Um, so for those of you that really like Jeremy Renner and really like uh, like Property Brothers, uh, that's for you. Um, but that is not for me. Maybe my wife will like that show, but I am not about it. She really likes the home HGTV stuff. And I'm like, eh, I've seen enough Joanna Gaines in my day to know that she's just going to put ship up on everything. Uh, and then uh, comics. Um, an, a new image comic is hitting the scenes on the 12th called World Tree. Good luck spelling it because it is W0RLDTR33 world tree and it looks like a cyberpunk-esque kind of um uh deep dive world where the internet is starting to bleed into the real world and you are a cyber warrior or our story follows a cyber warrior who is trying to fight back against the internet that should be interesting enough kind of matrixy in that way and those have been the upcoming releases. Any of those highlight out for you or stand out for you since I know you had to run and get your charger there? Yeah. Um, actually, the World Tree sounds really cool. Um, and the Rise of the Pink Ladies sounded interesting just because I was a theater kid. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when a new musical kind of thing drops, I got to at least yeah. check it out, uh, see what's going on with that. Super fun. All right. Well, let us know in the chat if any of those uh, sound interesting to you or if you would like to know more about them or highlight them. Um, I doubt we'll play any of these on stream, but I'll probably be playing Library of Babel at least on my own time. And uh, it should be an interesting little chunk of time. With that, we're going to move into our final segment of the show, which may have gotten out of order. So I'm actually going to work on finding it really quickly. Um, meme of the week. Did it get lost? It got lost. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go find meme of the week, um, which was actually earlier, but this time it was submitted by Sneaky Pigs. There it is. Uh, it is the Spirit Halloween taking over the stadium where E3 2023 was gonna be hosted, uh, which is a good goof, a good bit, um, because Spirit automatically moves in as soon as things shut down. Very funny stuff. So appreciate Sneaky for submitting that. Chats the clap for Sneaky. We always stand, Sneaky. And with that, we're gonna wrap up the show here. So any. Final thoughts from you, Wizen, or anything you'd like to say? Any places that people can find you other than just over on the Discord? Uh, mostly just on the Discord. I do have a Twitch, but I don't stream on it very often. Um, maybe I just need some encouragement with that. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, mostly on the Discord and uh, on TikTok as Wizen Lemur. Rock on. All right, well, we're going to end this as we always do with our three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you. But before we do that, I do want to say, uh, be sure um, to, if you're on Twitch right now, say hi, YouTube, in the chat. And uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, I thank you for watching it. appreciate you taking time out of your busy days to join us on these uh, weekly Geekly News shows. If you like this kind of content, you want to see more of it, be sure to give us a thumbs up down there to let us know that this is something you want to see more of, that you're enjoying this, uh, and that it's something that you want to, us to continue producing. Um, we would appreciate that kind of feedback. I do check out those things so that I know um, what we're thinking. Be sure to weigh down in the comments down below also some of your thoughts as the show goes on and things that you might have found interesting or wanted to weigh in on further 
where I, I do read those comments as well. And with that, we're going to end this stream, as we always do with our three things that we believe really do true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, until the next time that we see you, bye-bye. And welcome back to Twitch. All right. Well, with that, we're going to wrap it up, Wizen. So I appreciate your time and appreciate you being here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right. Let's sign out here. And we're going to go back over to chat. Thanks again. Thanks again. You've been waiting for your movie movie. Oh, I so appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to turn down our audio just a little bit before I turn back on Spoofy. And then we'll do your... Um, we'll do your movie movie. We'll do your gotcha. I appreciate your patience, Zando. And then after this, we'll find a raid. It's the sub wheel, Zando. Clockwise, counterclockwise, how hard? All right, and movie, movie game. Clockwise with the strength of three. You got it. Okay. Your movie, movie game prompt. A space heroine crash lands on a prison colony uh, planet only to once again battle her xenomorph nemesis. But this time she's got something in her belly that will inevitably be raised by three adult males. A space heroine Crash lands on a prison colony planet only to once again battle her xenomorph nemesis, but this time she's got something in her belly that will inevitably be raised by three adult males. That's very funny. That was like a one. It is alien three men and a baby. Chats in the clap for Zando. All right, that is blue. It's a mug. You get yourself a checkpoint mug. Uh, you'll get it in probably a year and a half. We'll send you that checkpoint mug in like a year and a half, Xander. All right, and that tracks. <laughs> with that, with that, we're gonna go find somebody to raid. We are we are meeting my quota of five viewers, and that's what I normally say as far as raids go. Uh, let's raid Love Thy Nerd. I feel like we never get to raid Love Thy Nerd. So we'll go raid Matt and Bubba. Um, folks, I've already said it once, but I'll say it again. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. God loves you. We love you. You matter. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll be back on stream on Monday, uh, because you've already heard the schedule. Monday and Tuesday, 1 to 3, uh, 1 to 4 Eastern, uh, and then Thursday from 9 to noon eastern here with wake with nate appreciate you being here this sunday look forward to a chia stream or chia sermon excuse me and then next sunday super mario should be a lot of fun so be sure to see super mario in the next week and a half because it'll probably be filled with spoilers with that please go tell uh, love by nerd that they matter their community matters i'll spam a couple of those um in the chat if you would spam those you matters in the chat and let them know that they do indeed matter i will catch you next time Bye bye Stop streaming! Stop!